What's up, folks? Welcome to Wasted Space. Welcome back to Global Space Engineers. I have some fools to join me. You may have seen them in the thumbnail. <laughs> Five Star General and the Granny himself. Mm -hmm. No yeah. less. How are you guys doing? Are you well? Yeah, I'm doing. Well, I think everything is going pretty smoothly. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're, that's not a good start. I hope you realize. But you don't start mm. the stream by going, yeah, everything's fine. Life's going really well. Well, okay, oh. well, aside from the fact we are working off a slightly older save, so the main engines are missing on the back of the shovel, but... There we go, let's, it's start, easy let's fix. start listing some complaints, and we can go from there. Hmm. <laughs> easy fix. Well, uh, good evening, everybody. We're going to, as the stream title kind of suggests, launch ourselves a space shuttle today, I think. You reckon you can get it finished? I think so, You were yeah. pretty close before. Yeah, it's just going to be the question of, does it carry enough fuel to actually do anything? Well, yeah, there's that. Um, I also, like, I'm not sure what to do about the whole let's land a rover on Mars thing, if it's going to freak out quite like it did. Hmm. Can, can you guys remember if we tried rotor locks? Yeah, we tried it on and off, I think. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Also, the, uh, the shuttle does officially have a name now. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. It's DeLorean. Yeah, they're flying car. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they also do something with a DeLorean on Top Gear? Mm, I think they did. Hmm, I could have sworn they did some, like, dodgy converted DeLorean, except it wasn't a DeLorean. They converted something else to look like a DeLorean and then launched that. Yeah, didn't they do a second attempt at it with a DeLorean instead of a blooming Robin Reliant much later down the line? Yeah, if it was late enough that it was with the, um, after uh, the original After Clarkson was... and Co. left. That might be yeah. it, yeah. How's everyone doing on this fine Saturday evening? Let's go and visit the, uh, the shuttle in progress. Might even change the time of day, actually. That seems, seems fair. Let's see if we can... Oh, visibility. <laughs> was it the, uh, the... It was the double wheels that were the safe ones, right? Uh, you the safest of the bunch, yeah. Yeah, it's part of what I'm a little worried about with the shuttle is what to put out for wheels. Well, I think All of them, we could do... I think, is the answer. Mm. Yeah. Anyone else have a huge echo? That doesn't sound right. No. Don't hear an echo on my end. Mm, nope, not on mine either. Do let me know, folks, whether or not anyone else is having that problem. Cheers for letting me know, Willie. Um, don't mind about this. This is just a good opportunity to mention that I will be joining Shaq tomorrow for more engineering madness, and uh, I might have been working a little bit on the thing you saw on last week's stream in the interim. Does it work well? Me. Yeah. Does it work? <laughs> yes. So there we go. That's the stuff. <laughs> Where's Time War? We're doing a bit Damien, are we? No echo um, here. Okay, good. So there might. You sure you haven't like, managed to open it in two places, um, Willie? That's probably what you've managed. You've got it open in another tab or something. It's playing in Discord. It's uh... looking in the business. Mm. Now, being the sort of person I am, you mm -hmm. wouldn't want a vehicle designed to drive that out to the landing pad, would you? Uh, like a crawler? A crawler? Keeps it upright mm. the whole time? I, I, I personally want that, but I'm not the, uh, I'm not the creator of this beast. Launch yeah. from the vehicle? Well, the tricky thing is, is it, it's slow enough that I don't know if we could actually get it done in a stream. You know, the vehicle out to the launch pad. And it's <laughs> I think we could take some liberties on the basis mm. that uh, I don't think the rocket even fits inside our vehicle assembly building. So we're kind of already taking a liberty or two. True. We certainly haven't really taken that into consideration when building it. Like, does it actually fit into the VAB? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Take to speech. Um, nice. No, I, I think this actually would fit in the VAB. 
You might be all right, actually, yeah. But I think I can get a vehicle that does as well. All I'm saying is I don't think we have to crawl at whatever it is, is like <laughs> 0.3 kilometers an hour for the whole journey. I think we are, chat will forgive us. <laughs> all right, how did I have this packet done last time? Hmm. So I think for wheels on the front, we may have to go with uh, two sets, like instead of one down in the middle, because I don't... With how close it is to the orange tank, there's not really enough room for a set of wheels up front. Yeah, that's pretty tight. But Although, I don't know how... No, no, not that double wheel. No, not no, that no, one? no, not that one. That one is 100% dodgy as all hell. Oh, I thought those were fine. Okay. Nope. I love how they Never just mind. fall through the orange mm. body and pop out the bottom still upright. No, there's a small double wheel that places down in a single block. Yeah, plain wheel suspension, large two by two wheel double. Not the twin one, just the standard one. That one's fine. Oh, I've never seen that. What the hell, Ben? I don't know why that would be. Uh, what have I done to break my announcements? That's not cool. Oh. Oh, I know what I've done. I'm on the wrong one of these. Hey, <laughs> yeah, you can tell I'm on the wrong one because I don't have my face cam. Get down there the we go. Stalker. Mm. It is a good looking yeah. shuttle. It has been well gribbled. So, those? We got mergeless connectors holding it on. Mm -hmm. Mergeless tubes Bombings. and explosive bolts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those ones, space one. Okay. I think yeah, it's we, do have, we do have a little extra room because of the the fact that the fairings aren't solid blocks to kind of fit wheels through them, but we really need extra wheels. Yeah, the only other one that, that works reliably is the tiny, tiny little one, which might actually work here. Ooh, what the? Isn't the tiny, tiny one what we had on the, well... And again, we hit the ground at over 60 meters per second that just dug in. So. Yeah, you just need to massively up the strength on it so that because it, it is pretty small and weak. But I mean, in theory, with something like this, we should be landing on those back wheels, not the front one. Yeah, it wouldn't you know, really need back, to be level. Mm -hmm. The back wheels come in and then that front drops. Yeah. And I think it would look quite a lot better than having the uh, the twin wheels. Yeah, you know? that does look better. Well, that's how the shuttle's supposed to land, too. It flares yeah. at the last minute, basically. Yeah, because I think it doesn't really have enough aerodynamics to properly fly, does it? It's kind of a controlled fall more than anything else. Fine <laughs> brick. A brick that can kind of point where it wants to go. I tried very hard to get um, a Kerbal Space Program style... Um, nav all block, but I just cannot get that to work with the script. Unfortunately. Oh, let's have a look at this. Uh, in one of the rockets over here, weren't it? Yeah, they're in the cockpits. Did you but, add them to water? Uh, yeah. I really wanted it to be a placeable block, too. Yeah, I may keep working on that for next week. That one doesn't oh, work. Yeah. Ball ho, which is pretty useful for this particular cockpit because you would have to fly purely from that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuel critical. How do you prevent landing gear from being burnt off during re-entry? Uh, I don't know. Go slowly. <laughs> Where's Something the, uh... along those sort of lines. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's something we'll have to worry about, wouldn't it? Hmm. Maybe. That's another thing I need to add into this it is... I don't remember which way around the plane air brakes go, because I never get it right. Yeah, yeah, they point 
the arrow on them points towards the um, direction you want to break. So, like, obviously you're going to want to use these to slow down, so you want the arrow pointing forwards. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because that is something built into the shuttle tail, so... Shuttle some air brakes. The sim speed is noticeably terrible. It's kind of hanging in there. 0.6-ish. I mean, we don't really have a lot. Well, I guess we do. We have quite a few grids just hanging around. <laughs> I wonder if these piston doors might be causing some. So we get every one of these blocks out here is having the wind push on it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. True. Seven or point eight. Oh. A massive zero point eight. It's not not huge gains. I've got to be honest. It just needs some protein powder, I think. <laughs> yeah, so recall, shoots can fire off even if they've got blocks over them, right? I believe so. Uh, I just don't think you can load them. Well, no. If I'm I'm putting, up, building yeah. them into the base of the tail, basically. If I stick a shoot block there, you can still annually load it from underneath. But will it fire off the box immediately over the hatch? Uh, I could test it. We could test it real quick with almost like a small rocket. Yeah, just give yeah. it a go, I suppose. Sounds good. I don't know. Good question. Uh, yeah, let's find that Maybe. out. I'll build a little small sounding rocket. Yeah, you sound. Oh, right. those what sort of dimensions fast. are you at? Is that the doors? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they move fast. Oh yeah, I meant to slow that down, didn't I? the changes they made to the coloring system where you have to press OK before you exit. Are you sure? Everything. Yeah, or just... Up. Hmm? It's a space ball just hates everything. That's what I'm picking up. Are you sure you don't want to try some of these DLC color blocks? We've got lovely skins in DLC if you want to try them, really. You sure that you're okay with this? <laughs> Maybe you should look over the list again, just just to be on the safe side. Maybe you didn't see them. Ooh, mirroring. Mm -hmm. Mirroring is a thing. And this is the only reason this thing is going to be getting off the ground tonight. Instead of managing to build it lopsided. Another thing I can fuck in here. Forty three blocks, wasn't it? So uh, wider than that still. This is gonna be the center portion of it, of course, but I'm gonna do my parachute block. You have a missed no, Mr. Night Hunter. Yeah, actually didn't crash out the script and you know. Nothing yet. Crashing will begin shortly. 
Ah, I'll bugger off that once he flies, haven't I? Balls. So many attachment points. Have you seen the thing that drives the space shuttle to the landing pad and how many wheels that's got? That could legitimately have been made by me in Space Engineer. <laughs> Alright. No, it looks like I have opened a hole to the outside. That's great. Facing the how to get wheels ridiculously close together as well. Am I still too close together in the middle? I am. Old. Oh, well, I can leave those as they are, I suppose. Woo! Yeah, I have oh, a potential energy okay. converted suddenly. Uh, <laughs> my heat level is 70,000 and rising. Ooh, oh, right. That, that, that was, that was that you taking painful. off. I just turned around <laughs> and there was just a puff of smoke and no sign whatsoever of what had happened. Uh, what in the world? What do you do, Spaceball? How did you break it this time? Know. I don't know. My heat level is 190. 190,000, I should say. Oh. Mm -hmm. Crispy. Um. 190,000, uh, so, like, you're, you're getting hotter than anything known to man. <laughs> yeah, and I'm 13,000 meters up. And still going. Bleh. And I apparently have not used any ice. What? <laughs> yeah, that is a uh, bug that I've confirmed offline too. That the O2 generators with mod that's boosting their output uh, does result in the generators actually chewing through oxygen or ice, even when they're not actually powering anything. I'm also going 1,000 bordering, um, 1,300 millimeters. Millimeters? Uh, 1,300 millimeters a second. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. <laughs> Watch out for that snail. You're going to run him right over. 1.3 meters a second. Oh, better than oh. 1. 1 gigawatts, though. Uh, well, it's not even 1.3, is it? It's even less than that. It's 0 0.13. I'm going 5,000 meters per second. What is going on? Holy moly. Oh, space bar. Yeah. It's nice knowing you. Congratulations, you're on a sun intercept trajectory at that rate. <laughs> I have no control. 40,000 meters up. Um, I don't know I have any control over this. What is going on? Is solid rocket? No, it's, I'm going 6,000 meters a second. I'm basically a, a missile at this point. Uh, UPKA? <laughs> <laughs> Good night. I can't control it. Well, I can, but. Goodbye, folks. Uh, I don't know how to stop this crazy thing. Oh. What? Well, I, don't, I still don't know what happened. This is crazy. The heat level is 160 and falling. It sounds to me like you've managed to create some physics breaking device, and we need to remember exactly what it is you've done. Mm -hmm. We can whip yeah. and weaponize this. <laughs> um. I am making a mess. Hmm, well, I have my. Thrusters on, I don't have much control, but when they're off, I do. 
sounds like you've imbalanced it then. Uh, maybe. Oh no. I got out. That was a mistake. Ah, uh, yes, you're not finding that again then. No, because it. <laughs> when I got out, I was going 7,000 meters a second. Well then. See what happens when I uh, admin teleport. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Whee! Wait for the impact. Yeah, you catch up with it oh. very briefly. Oh, nice one, Shane. Who the fuck is Slim Pickens? He's certainly got a similar mood to Cochrane. Yeah. <laughs> Seems about right for Spacebar. Yeah, I'm just missing <laughs> Steppenwolf playing loudly in the background. Well, clearly, Dawn, I should be the only pilot since I was able to break the laws of physics so easily. Spacebar went out to test parachutes and we never saw him again. <laughs> Turned out Spacebar finally made one of those drives we need to actually visit extraterrestrial bodies. Yeah, let's try that again. One of me wants to do this tank steer style. I think from seeing videos of it, it usually is kind of like all the wheels are steering together oh. at the very least. Mm -hmm. Huh. <laughs> A fire rocket. Oh, uh. <laughs> There's just a bunch of scrap metal flying at near me. Hey, the Morty. Yeah, I thought it was called the Epstein Drive, but I wasn't sure whether my brain was playing tricks on me because of the news recently. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it would be a bad one to get wrong, you know? Hey, Zach. Let's try this for a third time. I think I accidentally made a rocket, solid rocket booster. Yeah, somehow without the mod, which is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> impressive. There we go, that's a little bit more sensible. Are you sure? Nope. Oh, I've got no. a tank steer. I could have the wheels so close together. Uh, except I'm an idiot and I forgot to cover up the, uh... <sighs> Let's testing to see if parachutes open with something covered, and I forgot to cover the parachutes. Well, control test. You know they work. That's true. I don't know where my rocket went, but it works. Yep, that's proper space engineers rocketry. <laughs> <laughs> rocket works. No idea where the heck it is, but it works. When you say you can rotate each pair of tracks independently, what do you mean? Are you just referring to the tracks themselves, or are you referring to the entire track as a single unit? I 
can do either. The question is just which one you want. Uh, no, I figured it out. Space bar, you've built a potato cannon. <laughs> Apparently. We oh, now this. Some sort of agreement that potatoes never gets mentioned in these streams. <laughs> You'll just set off track, chat, and like, I, hang, I hang on no time for that. I didn't say anything about potatoes. I said tomato cannon. Yes, uh, that's what I said. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Well, well-known thing, those. That's what you use against Fozzie Bear. Yeah, Mark Rober probably made one at some point. Mm-hmm. Did the Mythbusters play around with that too? Uh, well, I think they just liked making air cannons and launching things. I can, which I can kind of understand. I mean, if you have an air cannon, you are going to see basically what you can fire out of it. Mm -hmm. if, if, if it's an object that fits down the tube that's in nearby, it's going in the tube. It does remind me, we need to see if this thing's rated for bird strikes. <laughs> I'm curious Each how wheel really can that. rotate. Oh, interesting. Nothing exploded there. That was literally just the noise of spacebar launching. <laughs> Believe it or not, like, like that—that's that's the sound of success. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so each wheel could rotate, so it could essentially drive in any direction just by spinning the wheels round rather than moving at all. I see what you're talking about. So. For an example, this same wheel could also end up being that way around as well. Uh, I probably shouldn't have aimed right above those Kerbal Space Program or Center. Uh oh. Because my shoots are not open. Open. <laughs> Can confirm that does not work. <laughs> Just watch you disappear just, just, behind the VAB and then the mm -hmm. muffled explosion in the distance. And then, yeah, sounds about right. I just saw a big black cloud above the VAB and that was it. Alright, this is gonna get pulled out. This is hanging way out here. Yes, thank you, Shane. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? You just hmm. trigger him. Okay, so ours is the Springsteen driver, Roger. <laughs> See, I I don't think it's gonna work. Unless my test was doctor. flawed, which it's possible. Okay, so I need to. Hmm. No, I didn't make that work still. Not the... individual wheels, each of the four assemblies. That's easy. Like, with what I've been doing of late, oh. that's, that's straightforward. That thing is considerably more complex. So is this going to be able to take us up walls too? We can do that if we want. <laughs> and ask whether we could launch the space shuttle sideways. I said, should we launch it sideways? <laughs> That's the idea. You drive it halfway up the mountain, then you launch it. Yeah, and you don't have to go as far. Okay, so I'm building... Oh god, how big do I go with this thing? Because if you want four sets of tracks, I either make that smaller or that is one of the sets of tracks, in which case this vehicle is enormous. Oh, I thought that was just one set of tracks. Well, I, I was imagining just two sets of tracks on it, not four sets. Hmm. Yeah, there hit me up. Give me some reference material. I should have looked this up before the stream, but I really didn't think this was what I was going to be doing, to be honest. So, there you go. <laughs> I'm fine with it. Got a little thing about wheels at the moment, but... One could say that you have many wheels about things, actually. I need to slowly build myself up like a 
multi-track vehicle toolkit almost because a lot of the time it's using very similar parts that you could just sort of assemble, assemble modular style. Fuel yeah, it kind of be like two of those side by side. Yeah, so in reality, I built this a bit large. I'm better off with, with multiple. <laughs> Uh, but this is why, having built that dumb thing in uh, survival, doing all of this in creative is much more fun. You're just like, <laughs> oh, is it? Is it a bit too long? Well then, let me chop a bit out the middle. And if I do it you cleverly, have I can do it in a way where I actually be able to paste it back together again. Yeah, fuel levels are still completely busted with that script. Mm. Oh. Well, on the displays at least. Um, get the backups working. Backups working on it. Things are way too small. Chop that down a little bit to something a little more sensible. Still gonna be pretty massive, but you need it a bit massive, right? Rotors. Bigger is better than having it all completely apart on the way to the launch pad. to have these mm. axle points probably slightly closer to the inside edge, actually. Oh, and of course it kicked me out of the front of the cockpit. Any car dealer salesman? How many wheels do you want? Wasted? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's Space Engineer's fault for making vehicles with more wheels just better. But it's fairly linear. Add wheels, better vehicles. position these things so I guess they slightly over did Eisen send me a reference he did send me a reference image good man is not quite what I had in mind but Roger that appears to be a vehicle for moving a building which is impressive don't get me wrong doesn't look much like a space shuttle But housemovers.com. No shit. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> taking the, the concept of the mobile home a little too far. I guess this intrinsically makes it want to be square, doesn't it? 
so that when it rotates round, the whole design makes the same sense in both directions. 45. Oof. How wide is your thing? Uh, let's see, from tip to tip. 42. Oh, how convenient. 42, 43. Around that area. Okay, so a bit bigger than that would be all we really need. And now the doors don't want to open. Why do the doors not want to open? Because you didn't ask politely. Please open doors. No, well, they didn't work. Did they reverse their... I bet they did. Or reverse their direction. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. Because of course that makes sense. Yep. I think Tex is with us tomorrow as well. I believe. Might be wrong. I sort of know Tex's schedule, but not not perfectly. I know he's working today at the very least, so. No, don't be a douche. Let me paste you on there. I know why it's happening, but I don't like it. This is about the part where Carol curses his decision to put puny cargo containers in the external bank. And all the things that now have to be gone through to safely empty said tanks, which were fully loaded. Space engineers, let me do the thing. Okay, so if I rotate you now, do you do something sensible? Can't wait to launch this. It's probably messages. This is very straightforward. You should just be able to turn that. There is absolutely nothing that you could be colliding with. Why are you being weird? Oh, what? What? What Hang happened? On. Yeah, that's okay. It's internal to the fuel tank. It's good. <laughs> uh... <laughs> that's, uh... That's barely hanging on. It's like... Oh, man. That's perfect, Eisen. Thank you, mate. That's a problem. Yeah. You're not. All right. This is what we're talking about. Um, I, I, didn't, it. I didn't think this was possible, but the shuttle's actually bowed in a bit. Or, like, the nose of it's uh, bowing down towards the tank. That's weird. Oh. Uh. Ow. All right. Hmm. I had to take the uh. 
there's no attachment point on front. The only attachment points are right there by the umbilical. So since I took out the main tanks down the middle and didn't realize there was something still holding them in place in the front with the tanks. And then to go up or into a merge. Hang on. I don't get to fix this. I know it hasn't got wheels. All right, then. I mean, Mr. Clark, design me some tracks for Space Engineers, and I will use them straight away, I promise, sir. As soon as those tracks are designed, I'll be right on them. Until they're not, until that point, however, I'm going to use fake tracks in the form of wheels. Yeah, I don't know how you've done that, huh? I do. That's uh, okay. Uh, I'm working on it. Just need to... uh going to have to paste it back on again, aren't you? Yeah, and that's going to be the That's going to be difficult. The, <laughs> well, it's because I've also had to move all the fuel out to tanks off the back, which are not really held up by anything at this point. So one sec while I fix that. I can fix it. I can make it work. No fuel in the reactor. Thank you. Too used to playing on pure creative recently. I forgot that, of course, this isn't pure creative. It's almost creative. Arc fuel? What the hell? No, 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 off. Breaking talk. Does point out one little annoyance with that. Don't have any power supplies on there at the moment. Yeah, I know there are Night Hunter, but the fact that they're they're literally just a cosmetic addition to existing wheels, I, I can't see the point in it, you know. One, two, three, four, five. Incoming paste. By the time you said that, it had already happened. Yep. Not not a mm. complex enough grid to cause big issues, but it's links. See. Well, there you go. If you want to play around with the, uh... <laughs> yeah, that, that nose, uh... nose wheel's a little on the mushy side, it looks like. Oh, there we go. Not massively surprised by that, if I'm honest. That's not bad. I mean, it's ridiculously too low to the ground still, but... Yeah, but that might be the best we can do. can't exactly retract this stuff properly. Yeah. So we do have managed someone... to get them to at least sort of work. Yeah. Well, we also do have someone who's pretty good with, uh, as I understand it, wheels on rotors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Insinuations, right. lies, and slander. I'm going to paste you back in. Need. I'm curious how you're going to close up the rear end of that. Yeah. So am I. If I figure it out, I'll let you know. <laughs> So it's just you being in the way that's causing that. Roger. Okay. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. I've been oh. thinking about doing a mammoth tank some point soon anyway. Stop doing this, space engineers. It's really annoying. 
you guys can't tell what it's doing. It's it's only letting me rotate the two between two of the angles, not all four. So I'm gonna have to extend this out by what's that one, two, three, four out on this side as well, just to get it to play ball. game because I'm within the plane of the grid being pasted I'm tempted because it looks like from that source material this that instead of this these things rotating 180 like I've got them there isn't room but all I can see is here They've got what looks like a, like a hydraulic ram to turn the whole wheel thing so that it can steer. And I wonder if I can do something similar to that with pistons. <laughs> so the actual, so we have this sort of piston ram to turn the wheels. Might be a bit extreme, but. Ah, oh, fairings, you're so much amusement. You retract those plane wheels totally. There are plane hinges and wheel doors for them to hide in. Yes, yeah, there are. Um, they whether don't, or not cosmetic. you can fit it. No, no, there's actually a, a... With the hinges and the door, you can put the wheel on a hinge and then a door behind it and actually have it go inside the hull. Um, but it is kind of dodgy. You're having a bit of a mare with this, aren't you? Unsurprisingly. Uh, I can get it. It's more down to art and luck of pasting in space engineers than anything. I have a merge block. I just have to somehow see where to get it. Scale-wise, sorry. We're in that grid. So it's about... Oop, not that one. Not that one. That one. You take that, it's about... three and a bit times as long as one of its tracks. You can fit one of those in there, plus a little bit extra. Well, those things. You know what? Oh, this thing is so dodgy to drive. <laughs> Remember, you're not supposed to be driving it, really. There's also a oh, hole in the runway. Eh. It's fine. Just a little pothole. I'm sure CD will get to that eventually. Light pothole? If I ever do plushies out of those, I will. All right, but I'm not sure they would look quite right, honestly. Twenty nineteen blocks out to the one I cut off, so we need these eighteen long. Ooh. I guess we're going off road. <laughs> Yay, you wasted some count. Always a always an exciting discovery. Hmm. 
Oh, there we go. Got it back on the runway. What the? Oh, stop, 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 stop. What are you about to hit? I can see you slowly rolling past in the background. What are you doing, Spacebar? Nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man, this is a trick to paste in. No. Now we need a uh, we need a payload for this for the test flight. Yes, that is true. Mm -hmm. So I wonder. I wonder if we could set up a uh, we got those laser antenna here. So what if I just build a simple satellite to take up? You can do. I had that unfolding um, solar panel one that might even fit in there. Hmm. Would it fit though? Let's see. Uh, oh, you deleted it. I was thinking something smaller, to be honest. Just like a little test satellite. No, oh, fair enough. Uh, what are these called? Hey, Gardas. What am I building now? Uh, one of those vehicles for taking the thingy job out to the place. <laughs> yes, I, I believe that is the, uh, the technical term that NASA came up with it. Who is it? The much more call it? I think we're taking mm -hmm. the thingy job to the place. Yep. Yep. Come on, game. Come on. Don't do this to me. One block. I need one block. I do not envy you, fam. Not even a little bit with that. That's horrible. Energy low. And. I don't think they brought back 3,000 pounds of moon rock, though, did they? That that's would a, be that's a lot of did. rock to bring back with them. <laughs> we bought 25 kilograms of rock. Does that count? Okay. Uh, Lord. Done. Always more wheels.
<laughs> Problem is, I just drive this around and immediately go, yeah, but I need the rotors to move in all the other directions now, too. <laughs> oh, I wonder if there is a script. One block too high. Is there a script to add WASD, nope. WASD controls to rotors? Uh, there used to be. Because technically, if I was to set oh. that up, all right, I could drive this by rotating the four outrigger bits, which is how it's supposed to be, rather than by using them as steering themselves. Mm hmm. No, actually, I think I got it. Pedro, I think he's got it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the tank properly then. Mm. Nope. I didn't get it. Come on, by one. <laughs> That's just bizarre. Uh, all right. Close, but not quite. Can anyone remember the name of the script? I've used it before, I'm pretty sure, because I've used it for tank steer stuff. Uh, you mean skid, skid steer? Or do you mean like... Oh, I don't know if that would work with a so... Basically what I'm thinking is... Uh, can I set this up in... Yeah, I probably can, but... Hmm. I wonder if you can get that thing to glide by adding a form. Oh my god, it's World Arm Rotors. <laughs> <laughs> Someone got distracted halfway through their sentence. <laughs> Didn't you do the video, video for Digi's control module? Yeah, I did actually. Shut up. <laughs> Leave me alone, it. I should probably remember those things. I said I, I, said I knew what I was. I. Ah. There is no excuse, is there? Thank you. Have I even still got it? Uh, there it is. Oh, the core control module is a blooming mod, isn't it? It's a mod that then has scripts on top of it. Yes, I've forgotten. It's been a while. I think that is the one that I'd want to use. That or, um, what was the pseudo scripting language one? Easy something. There we go. It's back in proper spot. Hold on. How to anchor the heck out of this thing. I uh, get all these wheel rotors, make sure they've all maximum braking torque, wheels themselves to zero friction briefly. And then I also get toggle blown block on off. Of course one had to not pay ball. <clears throat> I suspect people can already work out what the plan is here. Fuel critical. Why am I able to access these rotor heads and then it's not automatically showing me the correct rotor, and I go in here, it's not the right rotor I'm looking at.
Is that because the angle's wrong or because Space Engineers doesn't know how to do physics like this? I suspect it's because Space Engineers can't apply physics properly to this. In theory, if I drive forwards with it like this, it should spin on the, on the, point, on the point it's at. Yeah, problem is space. Um, are, you, are you sure it'll be the top of the list? Because the one that was top of the list wasn't the one I was looking at. So if I access this and go to the top of the list, here, that's not the one I'm looking at. Maybe it is, in this case. None of them are moving. That's because the rope is off. Okay, that one is. But then I bet you I had the same result because I was just doing that. See how that's still that rotor that's behind me, even though I accessed it from here this time. And if I click reverse, it's not this one that's responding. It's going to be a mobile launch pad, yes, Indra. Uh, so let me know, guys, when it's okay to do a little um, restart a rizzle. Mm, give me one sec. If I can get this tank in place. Oop. Sorry, that was a blue. Oh. You're all good. Moon is an eye. Yeah, it's a negative on placing that properly. Alright, go for it. I am talking about Nikki's control module, yes, Shane. Okay, I'm ready. There's a quick save. Get out of here, stalker. I'm in the wrong end. Fuel critical. I thought you were reloading, not uh, going for. Yeah, but I get very easily distracted, Spaceball. You know this. <laughs> this thing behaves awfully on ice. That's worth worth noting. Oh. Uh, but it survived. Oh yeah, it, it survives like ridiculous amounts of this for some reason. Hmm. Look at all those seats. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> Wee. Uh -huh. Ooh, drifting, oh, drifting the articulated lorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the uh, the rotor hitch needs a little more work, if I'm honest. Um, I could probably transport the shuttle like this, but yeah, this is this, might as well do something a new way. Yeah, since you uh, left on holiday, Splitsy, the um, the wheel shenanigan ratio has risen quite dramatically. Risen? Escalated. More like a space Accelerated. rocket from earlier. Maybe that Diablo's a monster, but yeah. Had to jump out of the ground there. <laughs> I'm 100% with you, Dennis. It's getting redesigned, mate. I mean, I, I, I did some streaming with that on uh, Twitch during the week just to work out how the um, torsion, rotor torsion script works because I've not used it before. Um, and it's a fairly complicated one, so I didn't want to bore people on stream with it, basically. Uh, and I've, I've got to the point where I understand how to make that vehicle as good as it kind of can be. Uh, this isn't the most up-to-date version. I didn't get a proper blueprint from the save. Uh, the problem is I've also found out that it's got some weaknesses it needs it needs some changes for v2 like for example v2 this rotor here as it currently sits is on the top on v2 imagine this comes down l bracket style and the rotor is on the bottom so this entire payload 
is at the same height as these two, but with the hitch over the top of it so that the hitch still works normally. That way the center of mass is kept nice and low because the biggest issue with this thing is while it can still hill climb just fine, it can't go sideways on hills because if it does, it rolls over. It's got, it's become too tall. See, so yeah, it'd end up hanging off the bottom of the hitches instead. There is, there's, I've got a reference vehicle for some, something that moves, uh, like heavy generator equipment around and so on. Okay. Uh, I reloaded the game. What I didn't do was mm -hmm. put the mod on. <laughs> I literally just pressed F5 and reloaded it because, yeah, genius. You know. Uh, so back in one moment. <laughs> I don't need to out Splitzy, Splitzy. Splitzy does his, his Splitzy's got his own brand of madness now. <laughs> As, as evidenced by the twin stick shooter, for example. Plus, I I tend to overcomplicate things literally for the sake of overcomplicating them. Which I think Splitsy does a pretty good job of avoiding most of the time. Yeah, if I actually wheel overrid it myself, it might work, yeah, sp uh, Splits. Has this crashed just saving changes before quitting? Looks a lot like yeah, it. Mine has. Yeah, yeah. Guys, it, it gave me connection problems on mine instead of kicking me out. Thumbs up, Space Engineers! You have angered the lovely people of Keen. You have said no, you shall not have a save before you quit. Yeah, there's some interesting modded wheels around. I haven't played around with them yet, but uh, I'm certainly looking forward to. Ah, yes, Space Engineers is in fact still running. Little Ooh. did I know. Where are you hiding under steam again? No. No, you're just sitting there using 95% of my GPU, despite the fact that the window isn't, there. like, it's gone. How, what, even on? I was saving the game. Now we wait for a second for the little message to pop up saying, Oh, we're sorry, we'll look into it immediately. You can do it. I'm sure they will. Right now, this game is experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. <laughs> hey, Doc Bar. Right, this time, edit settings. Mods. <laughs> so good at forgetting to put mods on when I intend to, when really, I don't know how, but it's just impressive. Just impressive. I like how I'm using four gigabytes just in the main menu. Gotta keep those videos going. <sighs> yeah, such lovely videos that I cannot turn off. Sure you can, you just have to put a black background video in. Or replace them completely. <laughs> With very specific formats. Control module on its own is not going to be enough. I need the pseudo scripting thing as well to actually move rotors to specifically where I want them. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Oh, wait just one second. I can hack this completely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 where is it? There was that new setup that added in the ability to have wheels with rotor heads on them. Oh, yeah. Uh... So then, instead of using Ooh. the wheels as the drive on the actual track bit, I use rotors for that. And I use wheels to do the steering bit. Hmm. The wrong way around, pointed downwards with rotor heads on the end of it. Except I seem to remember that that wheel mod specifically mentioned it not being multiplayer compatible. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, good, yes, the best way to do your... Uh... Your Steam screenshots is to include as many memes as possible. Yep, yep. Yeah, uh, that's climb. Open the custom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does it a lot. There's this inside world of Space Engineers modders shade that we occasionally get an outside glimpse on. <laughs> they apparently all know each other. They're all a bit grumpy about how other been. Oh yeah, that's climb. He does the memes things. So yeah, like that. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it. It's just. Okay, they've nice actually updated how this works. Well, it's just like people who add lipsticks to ships, too, so... <laughs> Mod is designed to be set up in offline creative. Well, I don't care. I'm going to try in online survival. Screw you. You're not my mum. You don't set the rules. <laughs> in other words, I don't think we're going to be trying to drive this particular crawler today. I am staying up. At least it will be, but it. we will not. <laughs> The spawn to the world, the lake's gonna have been replaced by lava, everything will be on fire. Ooh. That sounds fun. Shuttle hmm. have morphed into a dragon. Tiny Tina will be present. <laughs> no, no, just Tina now, remember. No, 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 because no, I'm, I'm very much thinking of, uh, what is it, Dragon Keep at that point. As soon as no, you started mentioning the whole place there. morphing. I think Tiny Tina is my favorite character in all of Borderlands. Let's, let's see whether that changes after three. <laughs> True. She's different. We'll leave oh. it but it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's Teeny Tina now, isn't it? So Half the charm of her is how she acted in two. Oh well. I'll get to that eventually. Okay, let's uh, break space engineers. So basically, okay, let's, let's let's do a test version of this before I go like utterly mental with it. Do that. Out of the way. So in theory, I can now do that. Except that won't steer the right. How the hell does that even work with rotor heads? I'd steer by going forwards and backwards, not by steering. I'm trying to get my head around how exactly you're going to have to build this to use the. So I think. No. I think that does work. Custom data, what was the custom data I was putting in? Large 3x3, three three. oh no, small 3x3. Three three. Slash wheels. Server changed wheels. Um, except that's a. Yeah, this might actually. Balls. This might legit only work in creative mode because all that did was add another wheel. Unless. Ah. 
maybe I'm maybe I should pay more attention to what I'm supposed to be doing with this custom data. Small rotor, I think, is actually what we're after rather than three by three. That's exactly what it was expected to do. <laughs> Load the one that says no, really, he sucks. But we all know that now. Woot. Okay, that seems yeah, entirely safe. So now, we extend this down and over. Oh yeah, that's gonna be weird there's no rotational friction. Okay, building this is going to be a bit silly. Because <laughs> I've got no way of stopping that. I don't actually think about it. I'm going to put the handbrake on, can't I? That's just bizarre. There's a clang going on over there. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. It, it, it's fine. Everything's fine. Had a I, I, reactor I, leak. I think I can see what it is. Uh, have I ever mentioned I don't like these hinges? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> it's working. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. So basically, you're just trying to invent the trampoline. Uh, something like that. What is the other one doing? Okay, so then... Oh god, that's upside down. Fuel critical. No, why is it... Stop spinning for a second. Which I can't do until I replace that seat. So, moment of truth. Haha. <laughs> uh oh. 
You don't like uh ohs. Uh, we're fine. We're all fine here. Fine, fine, or mostly fine? Uh, we're fine. Uh, how are you? Mm hmm. I mean, I guess, in theory, that's a workable test. So then all you'd need to do is go and turn the steering off on those wheels, but keep the propulsion on, and the propulsion off on this wheel. And then you could load that script up. And then you've got forwards and backwards control on the wheels and steering on there. I have no idea, Cassie. All we can do is that was like literally just a sanity check to see if how I was positioning this made any sense whatsoever. As far as allowing me to actually turn. Um, and it seems the answer is yes. So, next up is to attempt to put that system with this. Ah. Something just did it again, didn't it, Spacebar? Have I mentioned I uh, do not like hinges? I think you did, actually. Mm-hmm. Okay, what? It's a really long echo there. Did it take that long to come back again? <laughs> well, they don't... The, the upper and lower limits make no sense. Like, they don't work like they're supposed to. Yeah, but that would imply that the upper and lower limits in Space Engineers do make sense, which you know is a lie. True. Uh, I didn't. There's a mod around at the moment that lets you spawn them, so I'm going to go in and remove these wheels, and then I'm going to put... I could even do this with um, five by f uh, the 5x5s five five instead, potentially, but for now. So if I custom data these, small rotor... Turn their propulsion off. I can't. I need a thing on the grid to actually give them propulsion. She's saying that. No, they probably need wheels on before I can do that. Yep. I'm not How big are we talking? Huh. I think I figured it out. I think with those you have to set limits first. Yeah. Otherwise, they just kind of glitch out, or... 
But once once they go be out outside of their like acceptable rotor range, it does the space engineers thing and doesn't want to ever return back to that rotor range again. And will show you all sorts of bizarre numbers. Mm -hmm. Like that, uh, the crawler vehicle that I was showing off earlier on in the stream, there's one rotor on it that's just like broken for all intents and purposes, and there's no, no matter what I do with it, I can't get it to uh, show me a number that's actually the number it's at. It shows me a number that's just fake. This on. Yeah. Might as well try it. What mod is letting him use the suspension like that? It is this one: rotor wheels, rotor and custom wheels for suspensions. It actually lets you put um, the wrong oh. sized wheel on the suspension as well. Undo, undo. I need an undo. What'd you do? Lead the uh, vehicle hanger and the shuttle. <laughs> Roger that. Quick blueprint taken. A quick copy space ball for it also saves or whatever. You good? Yep. yep. Had the bearing that just detached in and actively highlighted when I hit control X and it deleted the entire shuttle anyways. Not great. Not great. <laughs> nope. Oh, it's big Kill him, you know me better than that. That ain't compensating, that's, well, that's way too small for compensating. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until I make it in a large grid, then we're, then we're talking. Yeah, hopefully that's far enough. Yeah, you're good. Far enough back, but not too far. How many times will the they do move in herds become relevant? That's a good question. When you press Control Z and SE, uh, you lock your dampers to whatever target you're looking at. That's the relative dampers keybound. If it feels like working. If it's fancies working at that particular moment, yeah. Not a given by any means. Right, which one of these wheels that rolled over here is the one from the corner I want? <laughs> Rolling off into the distance. I had an organization, damn it. A lot of clang and it's not me. Doing That's it. me. Okay. I'm trying to do this in such a way that I can ensure I have that grid properly selected, and nothing else when I delete it. Done. Yeah, this all looks pretty much the safest vehicle I think I've ever made. Did that really revert? Okay. Well, I'll have to redo the limits, but at least I know what I'm doing this time. Sorry. Nope, that was on one. I mean, I would love to say this was payback for all the reloads that you've wound up causing Spacebar, but I'm not going to be like that. Your reinforce through here. Nothing else for it. Time to try. Horrible abomination. Coming right up.
fuel. Uh, okay, we have some power problems, unsurprisingly. Very good at making these uh, massive wheel designs that have massive power problems. Here we go, okay. Uh, oh, wait, what am I doing? I took a... Okay. I took a blueprint before... <laughs> you completely forgot and now rebuild it. <sighs> yeah. Moment of truth. <gasps> Whoa! Ha, ha, ha. Meanwhile, there's three sets of four, five, how good grief, five sets of these just moving on their own. <laughs> uh. Okay, that's just awesome. I'm not going to question that. They're just going to keep going. Literally drifting <laughs> a NASA, NASA <laughs> shuttle carrier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta figure there's a few people at Cape Canaveral who would like to be able to do that, but. This new wheel stuff gives me crazy ideas, yeah. Not only that, but now we've got it set up like this, I've got the ability to have, like, each one of those joints actually has suspension strength, for example. I believe. But also, can't we adjust um, steering angle? So... 45, I guess, would be ideal, right? That's spin on the spot territory. Perhaps a bit much. Am I really gonna have to make a uh, a lifter to put this in here? Now, of course, the other thing is those wheels, the turn wheels, are of course wheels, so they can articulate on their own as well. Uh -huh. Oh, that looks nice. I need to find a way of turning the brakes, handbrake on for those wheels only, so that that can't happen, or something like that. Oh well, we got it back under control. needs the roll in the other direction to keep the wheels on the ground because they have the ability to turn around on themselves. So if this body had some flexibility to it, I think this thing would climb really well.
I can, Cathy, yeah. yeah. So I have control over health, because they're not rotors in the end. Oh, no, I, yes, I see what you mean. No, I can't. He's literally just put a rotor head on the end, so... So they are working on multiplayer then? Oh, yeah. My only beef well, the host. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Mm. Until one of us tries to drive it, eh, it'd hold judgment back. <laughs> Just to be on the safe side. However, for hilarity's sake... Yeah, I that's exactly the sort of thing I'm thinking. Like hinge at the center, maybe even a hinge in multiple directions. Let me guess, it's too big for the runway. Uh, yeah, I think this is way bigger than the runway. Well, maybe. I think it fits. Just barely. He is so silly. <laughs> I just love the fact that we can actually do it now. Mm hmm. <laughs> you say that, Omega. We've got plenty of room to make this more complicated. Don't you worry. Now we'll do the piston thing I mentioned earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I also need some sort of indicator on it. But I'm gonna go and creep it up and put a big plate on the top to put a rocket on, but some indicator on it as to which way is forwards would probably be helpful as well. Confuse myself there. Uh this thing moves pretty quickly. Like it gets to speed pretty fast. Oh yeah. I mean hopefully it breaks just as quickly as well. Um. <laughs> Not so much. It doesn't get to speed that fast, to be fair. You compared mm. this to the speed the um, blooming spider gets. Like, how fast that spider hits 30 meters a second, it's pretty much instant. Mm. Where'd that block go? Yeah, yeah, apparently it's made uh... perfectly to ride the, the white line. <laughs> Yeah, well, it looks like a nice and smooth movement on the stream for me. Lots of clouds going up and bouncing around. It's fine. Critical. Probably not helped by, because I've been working on wheels for a bit, there being like wheel debris everywhere. <laughs> Sim speed could probably be a little better. I lost a bunch of... Uh... Subgraded stuff over here. Subgraded stuff, yeah, rather than super gridded. Getting me a little bit annoyed seeing stuff on the workshop that advertises itself like vanilla, no script, like totally vanilla. Look at this cool mm. thing. Oh, accept it, super gridded. She's not have vanilla. A... Yeah, no. It's like. Cool. When you got that little description at the bottom, it says, "Oh, by the way, you got to turn super gridding on in your world." Well, so a bit like if you would turn scripts on in your world, doesn't that make scripts vanilla? Super gridding is literally modding this the blueprint. It's modifying the blueprint. It's not vanilla. I tried to. You can't do that, Pete. They've removed that control. In that wheel update, it was it was the one I missed from that wheel uh, the wheel update. There is no longer a steering brake option. You only have steering angle, and it just turns as quick as it wants to. Mm. You used to have a separate control for how fast it would steer, uh, but they've got rid of it for whatever reason. Quite handy at this point as well. Fuel critical. Oh come on! Why did that just? Sort of easily. You've seen struggles again, Mr. Farrell. Oh. 
Yeah, sounds like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trying to fit the fairings on without having blocks sticking out all over the place is not very easy. Yeah, the fairings, I mean, I love them, but they're, mm -hmm. they can be pretty fiddly to get a good place. Like, there's some circumstances in which they work great, and there's some circumstances where they fight you the whole way. Yeah. The upside is, is having switched over to the tanks, they do look quite a bit better now. Certainly on the back side of the tank. Yeah. Is just more fuel? Oh, yes. This uh, a little over doubles the fuel capacity of the fuel tank. Sounds good. No, that makes sense. So this should be more than enough to get us into orbit at this point. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, we think. Mm, that's not very, very sharing. I'll be back in two secs, guys, in the chat. I need to get a fresh drink. My throat's getting a bit... Ugh. That's not going to work. The other problem is also that the steering wheel actually goes into where the uh, tank is. So I've got to be able to attach the top side of the fairings to the top and bottom of the external fuel tank. Hmm, we can, we can remove that. Add it back later. Wheel's kind of necessary, but okay. Well, oh, you talking about just in general? It's in the way? Yeah, like right where that oh. uh, the fairing stops is where the wheel goes down into it. Hmm. I'm at a point where I'm, I'm just hoping it'll still separate properly because even that kind of feels like it's potentially in a weird spot right now with the fairings that close. But I don't yeah. want to split these two apart any further at this point. That's literally asking to have this thing go cattywampus on launch. Hmm. I don't know that my... I've got some round tanks that are about that size, but I don't know if they'd be... have the capacity. I forget what their capacity is. I'm going to uh, try to see if I can do anything at least on the top side of this that might work. Well, no, nope, never mind. They're 15 by 15. Those are 11 by 11. Blueprints with scripts, BP. The goal, sorry. Um, I would say is it's it's stretching things because it does require certain world options to be enabled in order for it to work. That's why I that that's where I personally would draw the line. If someone says it's vanilla, it means that it will work regardless of world settings. Hmm, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that way, you know, it, it, I mean, it's slightly harsh, but it includes, you know, all the experimental mode stuff, therefore is technically not vanilla. Um, same with the, um, you know, scripts, super gridding, even their economy, technically, because that actually has to be manually turned on. Mm -hmm. Which I'm sure will be interesting for uh, Xbox. Yeah, well, let's see what Xbox is like when it when it arrives. I'm yeah. personally not bothered, simply because, guess what? Actually, I was about to say I don't oh. have an Xbox, but that's not actually <laughs> true. I do technically have an Xbox. It is the world's most neglected Xbox ever. Uh, and one day I might actually play something on it. So I'm thinking, this thing's got this sort of cockpit here, which I can easily recreate. I wonder if I can use these outrigger sections it's working on to... Um, Act as a mechanical limit for how far this rotor moves instead of trying to do a. I mean, as simple as. Do that. That rotor now can only raise a certain height. Now the rotor fun thing wheel. is. One thing is, is, one of the things I learned when I was going through the script and getting that created is I did find there are things that have been noted in documentation that are saying oh yeah we've had to change this in programming 
because of the console. Mm. So, yay. Oh, hey, you can no longer do this because you can't do that on the Xbox. At the same time, I mean, uh, when you move a game like Space Engineers over the Xbox, there are a couple of other things you do have to take into account. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if they're going to release an Xbox version of this, we are going to, hopefully on PC at least, get more analog control. Mm. Analog throttle, analog steering. Mm. Bring in text to agree with it. No, mine. <laughs> the hell, man? <laughs> No, we refer to him as the Greeble Fire. And he's not bad at a little bit of Greeble. But mostly he's called the Greeble Fire because he does it a lot. Not necessarily because the results are always awesome. <laughs> no, shots fired. Mm. Don't man, some of them. He's, he's done some amazing looking designs, but some of them have looked pretty derpy as well. <laughs> Normally, when he gets a bee in his bonnet about making something that looks like X, you know, oh, I'm making, I'm making a, a tribute to a certain vehicle, therefore it has to look a bit like that vehicle. That, I feel, is where it tends to fall apart. slowly starting to get better at uh, fine details like that. That would be like saying that every ship I'd made was good looking. It's not. I've made plenty of ugly things. This is probably to be the next. <laughs> yeah, true, serious. Some, sometimes it works out really well. Uh, and sometimes less so. Uh, I feel like I should also nick from this image. It's got like a... I mean, not that. This. It's got like a full deck down there. Like, we should, we should do that. That looks cool. Oh yeah, the real thing? It's got like a... Of course, it's way bigger than what we could build in SE, but... Is it though? Um... Uh, um, like scale wise, I think this is not actually that far off. If I go and I'm gonna go and stand next to this wheel as a dude, and I'm gonna go into F8 and we're gonna have a look at me standing next to that wheel as a dude, and then we're gonna compare it to the image of this guy standing next to the wheels as a dude. I think they're ginormous. No, oh, I guess maybe not. Dudes go about three quarters of the way up the wheels. And huh. yeah, so we're a bit smaller height wise on the wheel mechanisms. But otherwise, Honestly, not that far off. It's a bit bigger than that, but we're maybe 75%. Yeah, it's all engine and hydraulics down there, isn't it? Well, I can always use some liberties. I mean, I think what I'll do is I'll keep this as the top platform and build down instead of up. Except I've got to do so in a way that doesn't interfere with the steering. That's okay. Not leaving it like that, that's just a test. Yep. Fuel critical. Yeah, it, fe it feels like it should be smaller than it should be, you know what I mean, scale-wise. But I think that's only because we're flying around it instead of walking around it the whole time. I think if you were actually, like, wandering around it, you'd realise, 
Alright, so let's do a little walk down the side of the vehicle. Still walking. I'm actually running, technically. Still walking. And there we go. There we go. Now I got my uh, Kerbal uh, 3D printed face. <laughs> Look what on my screen. <laughs> I just took a snap of the picture you posted earlier yeah. in the cave. It works. I was looking at the back of this barrel, and I cannot figure out a good way to close that up. Yeah, the rotor's gonna make it a bit on the, uh, on the tricky side for certain. Like the yeah. engines are gimbaled, but... Well... I was kind of experimenting with this one over here. Oh, you got parachutes there. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I'm not gonna forget the cockpits, guys. I mean, in the end, we've got almost the perfect cockpit for this. Uh, that DLC one is pretty spot on. Like that thing. That is a really nice looking cockpit. I'll give them that. Yeah, I mean, I can't argue just on the basic. I'm using it too much to be able to argue <laughs> with, with any of that. Just, I mean, the, the only thing I don't like about it is its ridiculous port locations. Yeah. But they clearly designed it to be worked in a, used in a certain way, and you better damn well use it that way. Mm-hmm. There's not one in the top either, is there? Well, no, there is. There's a single port in the top. Right, where does this sit? It's sort of out on its own little arm bit. Can I get you to fit in that little gap there? Oh, it's four wide balls. Oh wow! So on the actual shuttle, the thrusters just or the engines just kind of come out of three holes in the back. Hmm. You know, the big problem on our side is the. Just this rotor. Yeah. I don't want to necessarily fix the rotor too, too much in place. I want to have it have a little bit of gimbling capability. Because I suspect we will have to adjust it a bit on launch, but... What, you think you're not going to nail that angle perfectly on first attempt, Farrell? I think that we've got the angle as close to the actual shuttle itself, the center of gravity for the entire vehicle? Hell no. 
Definitely not. I was about to say, that, that, that's really what it comes down to, is not whether or not we've got that angle right, but whether we've got the rest of it right. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's the center of gravity that's going to determine what the gimbal rotation needs to be, because it needs to go through the center of mass of the whole combined vehicle at this point. Well, actually, it can go... It has to go through the center of mass of the shuttle and the external tank. The SRBs don't really matter so much. Oh, that might work what you've done. Yeah, I think that's about as good as I'll be able to button it up. I don't want to put mm. anything underneath it in case we have to flatten the engines out. All right, time to load this sucker up. Wheels are a little bit small, but not massively. God, the goal here is not the min actual recreate recreation of it. In reality, that much alone is pretty good. <laughs> I was turned so quickly. for you guys a little celebration no of the no no i'm just watching them turn so hideously fast that in reality the the tire treads would be smoking ruins by now either that you've got so little grip you can't drive yeah just, mm. there's nothing <laughs> sensible about those i need to get this picture on another screen but yeah it's it's as tall as this cabin is the whole way around and it's got another one that end because I'm very lazy. Yeah, that, that, that speed of rotation is not in the slightest bit realistic, come on, but that's fine. I have no expectations. <laughs> that's three forwards where it turns. Those boosters look so small now. Well, I have some ideas for something to do with the boosters. I don't... What I was thinking about doing was swapping out the ones for the no nose cones on them. Mm -hmm. And using the extra length to stick on some chutes, some react, you know, some battery power, reactor, gyros, and a couple RCS thrusters to kind of try to see if we can jettison it a little bit away from the craft. But oh, like, like separatrons. Yeah, I was trying that out, and I think the RCS thrusters are just too weak for it. Mm. would be a nice to have but Yeah, let me go, go, go and give you guys a, another update on Farrell's progress, and at the same time, even the people are asking about the gimballing thrusters, the answer is yes. Not masses of room, but enough, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
We should be able to... Only single direction gimbal, but in reality making something more multi-directional while still having it piped oh up, aka with the advanced <laughs> rotors, it would be enormous. Yeah, we really need sort of compact advanced rotors there, because we don't need to fuel the thing with large cargo pipes, but, well, that's what we got to do it with. Are you going to have those uh, two side thrusters? Yep, they're already uh, back there, actually. In fact, I had to kind of do a few liberties with the, uh, the uh -huh. Elms pods back there, because... The real shuttle has thrusters. The it actually does have downward or uh, thrusters that would shoot it downwards, but mm -hmm. they're in the nose and they're canted at an angle that allows them to stay on top of the nose, but still thrust in that direction. Mm -hmm. Whereas I'd have to go through a whole rotor system to make that work with this shuttle, mm -hmm. and with advanced rotors being the only way to do it, that's no way we can fit in the nose. Hmm. So it was either that or stick thrusters at the bottom of the bottom of the shuttle, and I didn't really want to do that. I didn't want to stick a little bit of reality on it. I think... No room for a for ladder in this middle section. Well, you don't need to get up there in gravity, and when you're in space, not have to worry about it. Fair enough. Uh, we might be able to squeeze a ladder in here, though. Yeah, I might not need it. Oh, and it put me outside. Estimated the range yeah. of the shuttle. Uh, shuttle. Uh, yeah, we're not that good yet, Syndra. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea until we launch it. Okay, I'm getting... Yeah? Why is... Huh. I thought I'd been dragging into the right tanks then somehow. I thought I was, but... Is it safe to open the hangar doors? Yeah. Yeah, it should be. The... Yeah. Yeah, I've slowed their speed down a bit. Yes, very nice. Are they really canted on the shuttle? Oh yeah. And they have to be. If you think about this as it's taking off, it's it's in no way aerodynamically or, or it's it's not aerodynamically stable particularly, nor is it um, its thrust central in any way, or its weight central in any way. So to counteract that, and the fact that in reality it wants to topple over in the direction the shuttle's mounted, they have those thrusters on the shuttle gimbaled and canted back to push the whole thing back upright again. Uh, and then, ironically, when it's flying, uh, it doesn't fly this way up. It flies this way up. And the shuttle hangs off the bottom. Uh, main reason for that being, not because there's any benefit from an aerodynamic standpoint, but because the communications equipment to control the space shuttle is like, yeah. Uh, and if you turn it the other way up, you've got a massive fuel tank and all sorts of other stuff getting in the way of having clean line of sight communications with where you're taking off from. Oh, well, I thought it was to. Uh counteract the the curvature the gravity pull hmm yeah where, where is actually the said can we see uh probably not because it's still attached to the rotor at this point ah right yes yeah, so it's still part of the main grid i'll just be intrigued to see where it actually is How are you guys going to fit the extending arm for the shuttle in there? Uh, that's not the VAB. That's the VAB. It's just being built outside for reasons. 
Um, and I don't know. You have the uh, the best of experience of anyone here, I suspect, with cranes, right? What do you mean? I'm probably only one of us that's built one, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it didn't go well. <laughs> I mean, I guess so. Oh, come on, really? There we go. Well, the external fuel tank's fueled up. Uh, I think we probably have a little bit of extra ice that's gotten into the main part of the system, but I can clean that out. Good. Okay. Fuel critical. <laughs> the script's still not totaling right. The test shuttle was named Enterprise, but this isn't the test shuttle. This is our shuttle. This is different. It's got some uh, science on it. The only problem with your little satellite spacebar mm. is that uh, that laser antenna is going to drain it of power in about 0.5 of a second. Mm. I am afraid to say that's why mine ended up with so many satellite panels. The solar panels on it is because it was the only way to actually provide, and even then, I don't think it's got enough. I forgot how much those use. Well, and, it's, and how little you get from uh, actual solar panels. Yeah. yeah. Especially those small ship ones. Hmm. Yeah, because I only was able to squeeze in two batteries on this. I mean, they're good sized batteries, but. Second. I want one. Hmm? Buy NASA's launch platforms, apparently. <laughs> For sale, 4,100 ton NASA shuttle launch platform. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, the crawler? Yeah. I don't think I've made it wide enough. Knowingly. Getting some of these pictures from front on and it is wide. Yeah, it's wide. It's almost wider than it is long, somehow. Or it's just, um, maybe it's just low down, given its actual scale. Although that that, that um, fuel truck gives us a nice uh, size comparison as well. So the um, entire like wheel matrix thing is the same size as a medium-sized fuel truck. Free delivery on Prime, yeah, I doubt it. Especially as that article did uh, entitle it, NASA's 4,100 ton uh, transporters are available for sale, dash, if you can move it. <laughs> I 
Remember how slow they move. Go halvesies, no up. I'm in. Actually, I think actually getting down here, that's got that same sort of chunky width once you're down at actual head height. Yeah, it's the low and wide huge. Right, roger that. Nice, NW. Where is it? There's a chance I've seen it as a kid and just not even really remembered. Depending on where it is, because I've been to the Kennedy Space Center. Just a very long time ago. Alright. I'm going to try to lower the rotor over here and see if I can get the boosters to lock to the ground so we can detach it. Uh, no, that you'll have... Will it go lower down that well? That far? I just have to reverse the rotor displacement. Yeah, but... Hmm, yeah... I don't know. Kind of... Well, yeah. if I knock out one block, we'll get about a half block drop in the back and on the gear. It should be able to sustain that impact. No, yeah, I think it'll be. Oh, okay okay Let, Let's save the world first. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah, it is Kennedy. This... So there's a decent chance I've seen it. Uh, oh god, I hate... This is why I don't like small ships gone wild. Look at this rubbish. What am I supposed to do with those? Yeah, alright. Wasted? What? Let me get a quick world save before I try to detach the shuttle from the massive grid here. Because this could go wrong. The part of the operation NASA didn't have to worry about. But I suspect it was something of a brown pants moment when it uh, came to taking the stack out of the VAB. Oh. Rather calm. There we go. Yeah. Hey. That's a relief. I came over here for explosions, damn it. <laughs> well, what you came over here for was a fully completed and fueled space shuttle. Uh, for this bit, I should be doing four way mirroring, really, shouldn't I? That might help. Oh, that reminds me, we can get that uh, wheel back up front there. I left the, uh, much more call it fairings open at that spot. I find that red so hard to see. I don't know which yeah. wheel that was, but. I hate using the red mirroring mode because it's so hard to tell if it's off or on for me. And I don't even think I'm colorblind. It's just too transparent. Yeah. But then it, it needs, needs to be. be, otherwise you can't see where it is. So Yeah. Cash twenty two point you do. <laughs> Hang on. Let me guess, that isn't that line down the center isn't down the center. Nope. So where is the center then? Uh, it looks centered to me, unless I'm not saying you're marrying. It's like four blocks out. And two. Oh. Miles out, wow. Yeah, that's correct. Nine. Uh, 
Uh, 4.5 blocks that way? Wonderful. You know what that means. Should actually be the center. No, let me get some one off. I don't... Uh, How can I oh. be that far out? Yeah, I, I am colorblind, little... guys. I don't, I don't know that I am colorblind, but like, even as a blue, it's kind of hard for me to see. Because it's just so... faint. I think it's just more... I've got seeing problems. Seeing problems. Eye problems. Brain problems, apparently. Like I can see the I can see the red. It's just very, very faint. I think that's the problem. Is it's it's too transparent like wasted said. Bizarre. Now I'll stop being an idiot. Hey. <laughs> The way colorblindness works, so we're going to have this discussion again apparently, uh, the way colorblindness <laughs> works is not that I see, like, red is a different color, and even if I did, how am I supposed to answer that question? How do I see it? Red. Because all my life people have grown up and pointed at an object and said, that's red, and so that's what I know as red. My problem is, and this is how colorblindness tends to work, unless you have complete colorblindness, which is very unusual. Um, is that you struggle to tell the difference between similar colours. Or, in the case of this, um, colours lose some of their luster, their vibrance, uh, and so don't show up as clearly. So in this case, the red over the blue behind it just isn't... There's not enough saturation there for my eyes to be able to tell the difference between the two, so I just see blue. And the, way, the easiest way I can describe this is to talk about the lenses they make to correct color blindness, and it's not correct because correct is not what they do. What they do instead of, in order to help you see and distinguish colors better, so you can look at an, something and say it is red, they actually remove that these these glasses remove parts of the spectrum. So that bit of the spectrum in between red and green, those lenses remove. They actually block out more color rather than somehow adding it back. But for someone who's colorblind, that allows them to then clearly tell the difference between those two colors, where previously they would have been muddy, and you'd find me going, I don't know what color that is. I, I couldn't with any confidence tell you which one of the two. And you, you normally, as a colorblind person, you've got an idea of like what a sort of area it's in, but you wouldn't be able to tell with any confidence which one it is. So, you know, it's, for green and brown is the best one normally. Uh, very, I, I have clothes that I've had for years that I still can't tell you whether or not they're green or brown. They're that sort of shade where it could be either. Um, same way I used to go to school in pink shirts. Like pale pink shirts because I didn't see the red. There wasn't enough saturation there to see it.
There are people that have it so badly that it almost reduces their vision to pure black and white, where you, where, um, you have you can tell the difference between multiple colors so poorly that it's it's for all intents and purposes a black and white image. It won't be a black and white image, but that's for all intents and purposes it is where you can go in and maybe you can infer the odd color from it, but not much more than that. That's always um. I've always wondered about that one, Biggle. Asking about whether or not um, colorblind people have superior night vision, because it does tend to be related to the ratio between rods and cones in someone's eye. Or can be, I should say. It doesn't, not always. Um, I, how do you answer that question, Biggle? It's another difficult one without like proper testing. It, it sometimes feels like it. I've always had quite good night vision. But I can tell you I have a horrible time at that area of the night where, like twilight, where there's still color. And it hasn't gone full nighttime, um, like rod vision. The cones are still active. At that point in time, it is horrible. I can I really struggle to see anything at that time of day, and make out differences between stuff. I have a hard time driving at night. It's I don't know what it is. I just cannot see where. It's not that I can't see. It's just. Um... I don't know. It's it's hard for me to drive at night because my vision's not as good at night. So I've always hated driving during the night time. Yeah, if only people thought I'd washed colours with white Sintra. This was when I was at school, remember? That's not what happens when you go to school in a blooming pink shirt. Come on now. <laughs> everyone else is in white shirts, school uniform and whatnot, and you're the one kid that goes to school in the pink shirt, and everyone just goes, oh, he probably just washed it with the colours. No. No, you get no end of crap. <laughs> From everyone up to and including the bloody teachers. <laughs> well, half the time, because they give me a hard time for wearing it, not understanding in the slightest that I had no bloody clue. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's not my fault. But a lot of the, the difficulties around colour blindness is just that it's very, very hard to... Um, Describe. The best thing you can do is um, there's a couple of tests online which are really interesting because they're inverse colorblindness tests where colorblind people will see what's there and non colorblind people won't, which is kind of bizarre. Hmm. Yeah, it's like, hang on a second. Which means we do know pretty well like how to affect our vision to kind of emulate and so on, but as a descriptive task, the only real way you can pull it off is by. For example, I normally load up... Wow has got some really good color -like, um controls in it. Uh, so frequently, I'll just load that up and go, all right, let, watch what happens when I... I uh, no, first of all, watch what my Wow looks like in comparison to yours. And it won't look anything like the same because mine's all been adjusted to make the colors more distinct. Well, Hayden, that's, that's, that's always a possibility. It says, what if your red is green to me? Like, we see a colour that is green, and we both agree that it's green, but actually we see it differently. 100% that is the case. That's how colour blindness works. But you can be damn certain that that is the case for everybody. Everybody will see things slightly differently, because the only way we know how to describe a colour is by reference to having already seen it, and had Get someone turn around to you there. and said, yeah, that, that colour you're looking at there, that colour is X. That's what I mean about sort of how I can't describe this to you. I, I have no... Like, for the whole life, I've still been told red is red. But my red won't look the same as your red. It'll look completely different. If you were to ever see my red, you would not look at that and go, oh, that's red. Good. Mirroring's definitely working. <laughs> nice one flashback. <laughs> and I still don't have a fucking clue what Mauve is. Or was it Sharice? Isn't that another one? Like, who? Who? 
um, or cerise, is that it? There's a there's a there's a few like colours that if you really want to push it can be brought up and you're like, nope, no clue. Maroon. <laughs> And I think, and think the reason for that is because that's when you start getting into things like mauve and maroon and so on, you're talking about the colours in between pure green and pure brown. And that's where everybody's intrinsic slight differences in how they see colour and how they perceive colour really start to play in. Why you can get two people that look at the same thing and say, one guy will say, that's maroon, obviously. And someone else will say, no, that's not what I know is maroon. You're probably still seeing the same thing, essentially, but... Those little vagaries have started to creep in. Ah, uh, right. I need... I've got all this space to use down here, and I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. Question is, is it snotling green? Or is it or is it grot green? <laughs> mm, those engines stick out way too much in the back. Yeah, I <laughs> I just copy pasted it over to the launch pad just to see how it fit and yeah, it, it, uh, I thought I had gears on the bottom of the landing bay out far enough to for the uh, main tank to catch it, but nope. I didn't want to say anything, but I did kind of think they were sticking out a bit too far. Yeah, I had them built better last week, and for some reason I just can't quite recover that. Just because we done changed, originally. Just we changed the series title doesn't mean you can now start being all nice to each other. <laughs> okay. Just say it. No. I'm not, not, not particularly happy with all this. There's the answer. What do I do with all this space? I run the entire thing off hydrogen engines. <laughs> Why? Because I can. And because that will make it sound like a car. Why not? Uh, you should put one of the large grid hard, um, hydrogen engines. Why are you inviting Clang like this? I'm the one that does I that. I mean, he, uh, well, after, after working on those doors and that satellite, I'm kind of... Clean crazy. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, one too many trips up to space and back, you do end up a little yellow, little green. Not looking quite so comfy. Get out of here, stalker. What the hell was I looking for? I came in here for a thing. Oh yeah, space ball. If we want to try it, I mean, in the end, we've got launch position. We've got all new cool things we can do now as well. Because of course, with that wheel thing with rotor heads on it. It means that I can put reactors on rotors that you can drive. <laughs> you get in the seat. You, you decide how fast they spin. Uh, let me go ahead and put another wheel back on the front. Yeah, a little turn. That's the plan. Let me get rid of the uh, one I was butchering here first so I don't accidentally build on that. That is, that's oh. that's the plan with this. Uh, how clips big right is the, the large tank. grid sure hydrogen engine? It is fairly chunky, by but three. Yeah, it doesn't. So fifteen my... bucks long. We can do something with that, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad man, spaceball. Just saying. Yeah. And it looks old. That's a good point. I haven't tested those um, how well those blocks are actually going to work as wheel stops for if it wants to run those wheels too far. Onwards! The 
fact that we can do this now is nuts. I think this got oh, disconnected in WL. Yeah. I can still rework so, it. Telling on the wing that's broken. I'll fix that on the master copy. I wonder if you shouldn't just extend those landing gear down, Feral, because that... I did, on the master copy over here. Oh, okay, okay. So, on some... the one that's there, eh, I'm not worried about it. Test vehicle. <laughs> Roman candles on the launch pad, I'm not worried. What I need is a, a structure to clamp over the wings on it. That's what we really should have. Now what now what I do is I put this entire wheel setup that I've got here on suspension arms itself. <clears throat> so that they all stay on the ground all the time, as if they're big wheels on big suspension. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shuttle carrier doing 100 kilometers an hour up a hill. <laughs> <laughs> Seems legit. Well, that's our plan. We're just going to get this thing up to speed, and then we're going to throw it. Just drive at a nearby <laughs> hill. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you unlock at the right moment. When this thing hits 88 miles an hour, you're going to see some serious shit. I can definitely see myself taking this as, ooh, did we just, yeah, we're, we're hit clipping in the middle. Because mm. it's it's so low, it's actually not very far. Look, if you're going to look how far off the ground it is in the middle, the only reason we're getting up those hills is because we're so stiff. That actual central line of locks is right wow. on the other ground. See what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. Get out of here, it's actually not very high up. It's just because the, the chassis is so stiff and so wide that it was keeping us off most of the nastiness. Mackle, I'm, I'm, I've been, as you have probably noticed, just messing around with what I can do now that we've got this rot uh, script, whips rotor wheel script. And then today, the addition of an even more stupid script to go alongside it that means that I can like look how well it turns <laughs> that is actually kind of nuts can you do me a favor space ball even you're with me mm. can you uh, reinforce the top a little and then chop off all the hanging down bits they should only be connected in four places, like near each wheel. And it's only the top that's actually holding the wheels on, so you should be able to drop that whole bit, like bottom frame off as one chunk, uh, and leave that behind and see how it behaves when it's not dragging something underneath it. Okay. Let me get that one. And this up here. Sounds like you got it. Mm, hope so. Yep. Forward. Huh? Oh, no, there's a few hanging down bits left. Hang on. Mm. Even these bits near here oh, okay. aren't That's actually structural. Gotcha. Looks like they got it. There we go. Cool. Fuel <laughs> critical. It's silly vehicle time. I love it. Mostly because now... Da, 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 strength up a little. Friction up a fair bit. Now, do we go really fast? Or do we go really... I think um, fast is probably a better idea with this one. I don't think steep is going to work that well. I was going to say the answer to that is yes. Forward. Can't 
Sharif. I was wondering how fast you have to go for it to, uh... Oh, uh... Hey! She held together. <laughs> I don't have any, any gyros on this at the moment, so there was no, there's nothing else I can do other than just let it fly around. I'm not going to forget the target of it, Night Hunter, but I'm just experimenting briefly with, uh... While, while I've got this prototype like it is, before I build it up too far what you could potentially do with this setup if I was to take it further. It does like to fly. Mm-hmm. I wonder what it would do in a world uh, without wind. Hmm. Drop a couple wings to it and see what happens too. Well, goodbye tree. That we just phase through, okay? Yeah, clan side tree. Yeah, I think, oh, I, I, think right. I need to extend the little um, wheel spars backwards a bit further. <laughs> but in reality, I think this is the second time in a while where I've just built something utterly ridiculous that does actually just work. Oh. <laughs> That one was a real trick. What the? How did I get... Okay. That's a fair point, Night Hunter. I suppose if you come here for someone who actually focuses on the task at hand, then you would have left a good while ago. <laughs> oh, look at that. That was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I, I need to play with this setup a bit more. That is cool. I mean, this is mobile base. This this has got mobile base written all yeah, over it. Yeah, yeah. Almost uh, deserts of whatever. What is it? Deserts of Karak. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Don't mind me. I'm just taking the mobile base contraption up this hill backwards. <laughs> This is before I've done anything silly with the wheels as well. This is fairly, fairly like normal wheel layout. <laughs> I could get a lot more wheels on those things if I needed to. Yeah, indeed, Paul Drive. There's a, um, I mean, if nothing else, this has got Mammoth Tank written all over it as well. Mm -hmm. How's walking around on it while we're doing all this? Well, it's not too bad, actually. Um, other than when we come down that hill and hit that tree, I got flown off for some reason. Yeah, Bench, give me one sec. This thing must be so visible from so far away as well. It's kicking up so much <laughs> dust. Rocket transportation does not need to be able to climb mountains. No, I know, but... Hey, you've got to admit, I did nothing but make it look the part and function a bit like the actual vehicle, and it just so happens that... Hey. Okay, there was a couple of bits I did that aren't quite legit, but still. For some reason, center gravity is still off a block. Drifting Melange vehicle. <laughs> I feel slightly hard done by that the rocket has arrived without its launch vehicle, but. No, we've got we to make can sure use it wasn't going to tip over. The world's biggest taxi instead. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a uh, start golf cart. It's going to fit on pretty well. Mm-hmm. 
and I think I want to plan it to launch from the platform, because which I don't think is. Did they launch from the platform, or did they scaffold it and then move the crawler out from underneath? They must have moved the crawler out. It's mm, got to get. I think so. Yeah. There's n nothing would really that thing would not survive. We don't know how the we don't, there isn't metals that survive being those thrusters being pointed at them. I don't think. Like at best, you've got concrete. Fuel. Critical. I don't think I can make... I mean, to be fair, I guess it's not beyond realms of difficulty that they would have made the actual launch pad bit out of it out of concrete. One big, massive concrete thing, but no, I think I think it gets unloaded. I know the... Um, the Russian ones, at least, uh, they get... They, their launch thing is, is a vehicle itself. It spins. Hmm. They don't. They don't do um, adjustments after takeoff. You know the uh, the the sort of the slight spin that that you'll see from NASA launches after a rocket takes off. It'll do a a, a, a turn to adjust to its gravity turn. Uh, the Russians do that all on the platform. The platform itself spins to the correct attitude, which is mm. kind of ass backward solution, but whatever. Well, oh, should be good to launch. The levels look good. Pallet seat's all set up. Which yeah, one's the pallet seat? Kinda... Uh, one up front, left. I thought you said those ones weren't used until we get into space. No, you still gotta get up. It's the stuff in the backpack that you gotta worry about, but... They've got a whole entry crew to help them get into these seats, remember? And three hours. Nope. Yeah, I just go over there. We have. We talked we about have this before jet. the stream. Like the the prep for the astronauts getting on board the rocket for the for the space shuttle was three hours before takeoff. So you're in that suit. You're in, you're like. I mean, you just got to hope you don't need a pee. I think is the main one. <laughs> out of yes, nowhere, yeah, like, guys. I'm sorry. I got to get out. <laughs> it's taken us two and a half hours to get to this point, but. Need a pee. All right, let's see. I must feel like we need to uh, put it on the platform and drive it up here, though. And how are we going to get it off the platform? Critical. Launch it off the platform. Uh, <laughs> launch it off the platform, yeah. Why isn't my check back? There we go. Oh, okay. that, yeah, I was trying to fill in a sizable portion of grid and yeah, space engineering. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it does that. Even but... in small blocks, for some reason, it does that. Yeah. Ten bucks as it glitches through. Oh, yeah. Explosions. That was the yep. engines. Yep. And the gear. But have you got any landing gear or anything? Or did you just drop it yeah, on there? Yeah, there were landing gear, and, and it, just, it all three of them blew, hmm. along with two of the main engines. Someone cut that out because I don't want to lose the yeah, copy no, I've got here. All right. A little let's lower, see. if we can. Well, it's hard to judge. Go to where it's red it and then shot. creep it about, back up a bit. Yeah, I, I did do that, but she's big, I... so big that I, I can't very easily paste it in with any accuracy. Let's see. Forward. Hey. Uh, okay. Gone quiet and collected. Now then, where was I? <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Hang on, let me go and uh, adjust the speed limit on this, shall I? <laughs> we clear, we are clear, cool. Mm-hmm.
A connected ship has taken control. That explains why I can't steer, I can only drive. Thank you. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, please tell me this is too much, not too much weight. And then I turned the UI back on again. I was like, oh, right, okay. But it's rather interesting that it, even though I'm not <laughs> on that grid, it just said, yeah, I have control apparently. Weird. But it's landing. I still don't understand why landing gear does that. I know that's been a thing for a long time, but it never made any sense. Um. <laughs> Bit wide, right? Mm-hmm. I figured as much. I'm a <laughs> not by masses, but enough. <laughs> No, I can fix that problem very easily. The VAB doesn't need doors. You don't never need to close these things. The problem is we need probably need to lose like two strips of blocks around the outside as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, working on it. I mean, it is starting to look legit as all hell. If I finish off this transporter, that's going to look the business. Oh, the wind affects it a bit, yeah. Not a huge amount now for now, but a bit. It's not too strong at the moment. Fuel oh, no, oh, space bar. Mm -hmm. You want to drive that, my man? Front left cockpit. I don't know. You don't need to set anything up, you just need to get in and it behaves WASD. As long as you're just tapping things, you'll be all good. I just want to see what it looks like coming down there. You mean you go ahead and drive it forward a bit, or just leave it for now? No, you got to get it in there. That's not forwards though, that's backwards. Depending on which end you got in, I suppose. It's true. Well, the real one's like that, and so is this one. I may hop in that other cockpit then. Well, and the, the script's intelligent enough to invert the steering when you get in that end, so... That's so cool. Does make sense. Check the cave, some info on the platform. Oh, interesting. Hmm. It launches on the platform. It just has pistons that like lower down from the platform section itself, and then the vehicle drives out from underneath it. Mm. That's why you okay, see so two the different. Goes with it. That's why you see two different pictures of it. One where it's super low and wide, and one where it's like carrying this massive block on top of it. That massive block is the launch pad. Hmm. Sorry, I should really show stream what the hell I'm talking about. Rather than just just talking and saying this stuff. Guys, this this is the deal. See that? That entire block here sits on top of the crawler with the rocket on top of that. So yeah, you occasionally see it. Perfect timing. Thank you, Wasted Cave. But you occasionally see it like this. Where you've got that whole bed and then this thing sitting on top and this thing holds it almost holds itself up in the air on pistons to absorb some of the shock i guess which is another thing we can legitimately do well that makes sense that means that i can make this vehicle as low as that and then aim to put something on top of it well and also you can see in that uh that one image that you put up are the clamps that go over the wings basically to hold the orbiter in place we need to include those as well that would be a lot better than having gear on the bottom of the main fuel tank. Oh, I see them, yeah. So, Farrell's talking about these things here. There's like big clamps going up to the wings that hold the whole thing onto the platform properly. I guess. There might even be something the far side either of the that rocket or, as well. Yeah, either that or to keep it from tipping backwards. Cheers, Eisen. No, it was Eisen that beat me to the research. He's... he's Doing the job. Oh, hang on a sec. Mine cozy in flashback as well. And here's the here's the 
you see the, the main sort of clamps there again, but also the pistons and sort of concrete struts that are holding the whole thing up and including these support bars and everything. Quite the endeavor, to say the least. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Uh, I was like, oh, bugger. No, <laughs> actually, the, you know, the worst that could happen is we can't actually get the whole thing into the VAB. Yeah, yeah we it's... might have to redesign the VAB slightly. <laughs> we, we, already, of... we already knew it needed um, sizing up. And to be honest, I'm, I can always redesign that, that that platform. Because it looks like the platform itself is a bit big if you, if you consider it's going to have a platform on top of it as well. Mm-hmm. So that's just a support structure for the main platform. Yeah, the side boosters are too short. We'll get there, guys. We have the, Those are the solid rocket boosters. We're going to have to do something funky by... I think Farrell was saying he was going to essentially build on top of the... There's one of those without the nose cone and sort of build it up like that. Yeah, I can. And that would really come with trying to find a decent pair of thrusters that we can use for... Uh separatrons that don't require a fuel source that work in atmosphere oh sorry ben i was going to show you uh, what i was doing with the the setup for this because it isn't quite the same as stuff i've done on other streams because this time around i'm i'm using my new favorite jankiness this it's a wheel on a rot with a rotor head on it supporting other wheels yes right. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Hang on, I got the gesture for this thing. Might as well use it. Yeah, I don't. Oh. Fuel critical. Uh, just hit something on the left side. Why right not, side. I don't know. Why not build the shuttle where it'll launch from? There's similar reasons to why we don't just go and build a very simple hydrogen-based ship and go to space in a single jump without any staging or anything and just be there. Okay, you're clear. Or, crazy time, use Atmo, Atmo engines and ion and just go up there on power alone. And stop. It wouldn't be any fun otherwise. Here doesn't lock there, but that works. Hmm. That's a mod, Grok. That just barely fits. I know we don't have the roof on it, but <laughs> we have like a block clearance. Yep, pretty much. I think that's as far as we're going to be able to get in there. It's pretty much even. Yeah, I think that works. I mean, we'd have to pull back the piston and whatnot to get it out there and the other spot that we've got it built out from the wall to attach should be kind of in a weird funky spot at this point because of the mm -hmm. cockpit granted the whole thing actually should be in the VAB flipped around I believe but the matrix that exactly expecting this to go out in the uh, launch pad and spin donuts to spin it around the right direction uh... <laughs> As all, I turned the wind off temporarily. Just so you know. Alright, did that. Mm -hmm. uh, main reasoning being that I wanted to take some glamour shots and it's really annoying to cut out the wind speed thing just from static images I can promise you it'll be like eight times as annoying to try and fucking rotoscope it out of a moving image. Mm 
Yeah, I think we should... Um, I'm not going to do it now, in fact, but yeah. I think at some point I'm going to have to get people together and do a little... Oh, I wonder if we could. <sighs> I think we probably can recreate the KSP2 trailer in Space Engineers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, while we hate on Space Engineers fairly frequently, it is the only game I know of where you could do this and yeah. get even vaguely close. It is the only game I know of where you look at a picture of that blooming NASA, like, crawler and lifter and so on and think to yourself, uh, okay, so that's pistons, that's pistons. We could probably rotor out, mount them. This is a merge block. If we lift it up with the pistons as well, that's going to work. Stick it on top of the crawler. Okay, we take the crawler. We can do that with rotor wheels and then outriggers and this script and that script and then yeah I think I think we can probably do most of that fairly legitimately. Mm-hmm. That's like looking at that NASA thing and thinking, yeah, I could I can build a landing platform that removes itself on top of that, designed to take our rocket the stages to the landing platform and launch. It's, it's impressive at times. I know we they never managed to get to the like get it perfect. They never they never managed to iron out all the bugs by any means, but they still did manage to make something that was different to anything else still. Granted, in order to get here, we've got the sim speed down to 0.5, but... I reckon we could clean it's... that up just by clearing up, though, to be fair. Yeah. We're still well, at a position is, me... where I've got, like, how many copies of that grid with the script running at the moment? Not enough. Well, and it's also not the only running script. Let me try something real quick just to make sure it's not the problem. Because... First big script that I've done, you never know. Let's turn you off. 0.67 if I do that. I suspect it's much more likely the big piles of stuff lying around that side, some of which isn't even locked down, all of which is affected by wind. Plus we have several copies of the shuttle laying around. It was, it was those yeah. particularly I was thinking of. Yeah, I'm not the, saying uh, master, the master copies out back behind the VAB right now. Everything else we can get rid of. And yeah, I just tried turning the uh, script back on. It doesn't affect the sim speed. So good news there. I have not brought the server to its knees by writing a bad script. Even though half the script is broken. Inventory. Oh, 0.75. Oh, let it drop. I also feel like the orange tank should be, for as long as it is, it should be fatter. But I think that that's should it be too about, hard to get. Yeah, we're like two sizes down from the max size of bearings at that point. Yeah. Fatness, it, it's fairly close. To be honest, man. Yeah. Um, the I mean, thing... if anything, the shuttle would need to be shrunk down more than anything. Yeah. The That's thing the, that stands out to big. me, comparing it with the image I've got on the other screen, is actually that the tank ends quite a big distance before the SRBs or the back of the shuttle do. Well, they do, but I've had to take some liberties with the landing yeah. gear here. And no, I suppose once you remove those landing sure. gear, there's going to be... Um, they do end a bit before, and then the SRBs mm. actually extend further than the uh, shuttle engines do as well. And we do have options to... We could always lop off the lower tank if it turns out that we have more than a fuel on the way up, so... I kept the plane, because this is Space Buzz plane, not mine. So hmm. I think I'm keeping my plane, and I kept it because I wasn't sure he had a copy. Oh, that thing? Um... Yeah, Space Buzz, come and have a look at what those two by... Those wheels you thought were the right ones are doing at the back here. Oh, yeah. I should have known with them being two-part wheels that they're not the I, greatest. Ironically, they look fine for me. Well, they, they look fine, but the whole point is when you put two wheels in that close proximity to each other and they're independent wheels like that, you get a mess normally. Mm -hmm. Unless you turn, like, I'd disable steering on them if nothing else. Yeah, they, they were. It's just the front that steering. Well, um, 
Yeah, it, I think it's this sort of thing, Farrell, that's mostly causing it. They're like, for example, this this fairing that's busy. Uh, it was in the air for a moment there. Mm -hmm. It's come inside yeah, now, so the wind's not quite so bad. But yeah, the, the fairings like to really go all over the place with the wind, which is funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's back up to point seven two seven three. The space, my fairing friend. Or can I ride you like a jetboard? <laughs> Come on, wind. Up. Oh, more wind. Oh, it's trying. Mm hmm. It's having to think about it. Oh, wind's rising. Fuel critical. Come on. I want to go to space on my green lantern, orange lantern board. Orange land, what am I talking about? Goblin, even. Don't make me chunk up the planet settings for the wind speed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it! Yep, yep, there you go. Not going the right direction, but... <laughs> Where's me <my> emotes? <laughs> I want to go that away. Take me closer so I can hit them with my sword. <laughs> that way. You're right. You're all right. Go on. Back. More. Hey. <laughs> There it goes. And then it gets inside and the wind dies off. Mm-hmm. He's done a good job of modeling it. Mm-hmm. You get out here, like given again that it's being done with a mod in Space Engineer, for fuck's sake. Oh god, she's speedy. Aha! Oh. and velocity. <laughs> oh, I was off the ground there for a second. Yay! Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey. Wait. Wait. <laughs> that was, that was kind of working for a moment. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, you done it. Can't stay on board that when he's flipping around all over the place. There we go. Oh, oh God, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a, what a hoverboard. Come back. Wow, this under how to keep it wasted amused for several minutes. <laughs> with you two having your suit lights on right now, it's like watching a cat with a laser. <laughs> Come on, I'm I'm I've been damp a lot to it. Now I just need to get into a position where when I turn my thrusters off, I actually land. Oh, no. Come on. Hello, boys. See you in space. see much space there I wish I'm just... seeing wasted space but I'm not seeing space <laughs> this is why I wish uh, space engineers had ropes could tie that to a rover and just surf off the back of it repair sell it whatever mm. the world of ecological transportation is it space engineers Unfortunately, you don't get to choose where you go. Oh, look, there's that um, wheel matrix thing I made at the start of the screen. Bye. 
<laughs> Sightseeing the local area. It's trash. All right, the trash just all ends up over here, does it? Trash cleanup. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> this, this is the wall that catches all the junk we build. Wee! Yeah, I knew it was going to kick me off a bit. Oh no! Still on. Mm. Kind of flying now. I'm not on the ground. Oh, I am now. Oh. <laughs> this is better mountain climber than I know a lot of people can make. <laughs> right, enough of that. Goodbye, sweet fairy. I wish you best of luck in your jets. Whoa, with 30 meters a second wind up here. I might turn that down. Mm. No, if anything, put a wing, uh, wing block down. That's even better. Just a wing block and stand on it. You'll be good. Yeah, Andrew, the physics additions from these mods are great. If nothing else, it's just another thing to mess around and have fun with, right? Another mechanic you can laugh about. Right. We're launching a rocket. Hang on. I'm trying to see how much speed we'll catch with the wind, uh, wing here. Not much, surprisingly. All right, crack time. I can see this is a multiplayer race event. <laughs> Hopefully one <laughs> where the, uh, it's just a case of you must travel X distance rather than go to a specific location. Because I can tell you those weren't so controllable. But hey, I wonder if you stick a gyro on. Oh, that's perfect. Cracky. A gyro, but you've got to remote control it using your suit oh. antenna. Oh. <laughs> so you're still standing on it. Build yourself like a little cage to stand in on top. And like, way up we go. <laughs> Ideal. I'm going to drive this monstrosity out of the hole, yet. Yeah? Oh, yep. Let me hop in. Well, especially as I'm not just... Wow, time can fly in this when you get going. Mm-hmm. It's even better when stream lies to you about... Like, YouTube just straight up lies about how long you've been streaming as well. I just refreshed the page and it went from 2 hours and 45 minutes to 3 hours and 8. That's that's the live <laughs> dashboard, ladies and gentlemen. You know, the bit that's supposed to tell the streamer what's going on. That way, Jeeves. Ah. I just blinded the driver of the the uh, the transport crew apparently. <laughs> oh, it's kind of hard to keep this thing centered. Uh, stop for a second. Go into the control panel and adjust the turn wheels group to have a steering angle of like three. Uh, or they're five. grayed out. That's grayed out for me for some reason. On on like on yeah. the turn what. But, uh, like the, all the selections are grayed out. Uh, but, uh, I don't understand. Words. Words failing. Is it ownership? Yeah. It's on share with faction, though. I uh, don't know. Like the drive wheels, I can, but the uh, turn wheels, I can't. Of course. I wonder if that's a byproduct of what I've, of the, the um, mod. Just putting uh, the rotors on there in the first place. Could be, yeah. Uh... Oh yeah, that's much, that's much better. Much more like an actual transport crawler and less like a transport racer. I mean, I, <laughs> I do need to, I'm gonna take a copy now, actually. Oops, that, no, that, that's the KSC. I don't think we need a copy of that. No, that's not. Damn it, of course, because you're only landing gear on, I can't take a copy. I'll have to ask for a copy later. I need to see how well, can, how well I can race around the hills with a shuttle on the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the backup copy of the shuttle out back, right? Yeah, it's still there, so we can get back on easily enough. You can tell when the wind is hitting the shuttle, you can see the whole platform rock back ever so slightly. Yeah, yeah it's like leaning backwards on its suspension. <laughs> yeah, big ol', I'm not very good at that, I know. Get out of the air, space boy. Hmm? On the ground. Yeah. It's not my fault. 
Oh, not you. Sorry, Feral. Hmm? Let me get on the ground. You're flying around in the screenshot. Yeah, mm. I should have thought that through for a second. Ah. Okay, is our gantry a bit close or... Oh, no, okay. Roger. Turn inwards. Other way. I was thinking you might be able to jump those back wheels up like that. There you go. Uh, we, yeah. Probably. I mean, I intended to mention this, that we should probably just make the whole thing one block wider before we drive down it. And um, I kind of regret not having done so, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'll have to drive off the other end to get it straight. Mm -hmm. That might be good enough. as you do. Go, mm. gap free. Yep, on this side. Not anymore. There you go. The whole thing should fit on now just about. Yeah, it's just barely. <clears throat> no mercy. Uh, no, no mercy. Even. <laughs> uh, other way around. This, uh, yeah, um... Not only am I a slightly unusual person when it comes to persons from the UK, and thus you should not judge my sleep pattern slash time schedule of that. But secondly, there was this Borderlands 3 thing that happened recently. Like, if you guys fancy watching some Borderlands 3, uh, there might be like 27 hours of it over on Twitch from the last three days. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Like it came out on Thursday, hour. today is yeah. Saturday. The first stream was over 13 hours, the second stream was over 14. Oh no, the first stream is 12 hours, like 30. So it's like 26, 26 and a half. Since Thursday at midnight. So technically Friday. What the fuck, shit. I've streamed too much recently. Roger! So you're actually trying to calculate how to fit those hours into that length of time. It's like, oh, right, okay. What that mm -hmm. means is I basically didn't do anything else. I'm going to go on a little, um, while you get the last bits necessary there, I'm going to do a little tour yep. on the lake uh, and see how many um, random things I can find out here that are being pushed around by the wind. Right, here's a... I mean, it must have been moving around with the wind, because it's out here. So, here's a set of wheels. Like one of the arms from the early designs today. What have we got over here? Alright, that's something that crashed. Figured something's missing here. I can add something in real quick. Care of it. This is what the KSC would look like if Revert to BAB didn't exist in, in <laughs> global space program. It's just at this point there would just be so much trash hanging around. Mm -hmm. I'd like to say this was all of ours, but it's just not. There we go. Now, now I can properly fly this. 
I'd also like to say, oh, I'll just use the. Uh... Oh shit, that's the blueprint menu. Oh, no. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, I'll just use the old uh, trash cleanup, right? Because that never goes wrong. All right, maybe, maybe we should do this. There's a there's something called door prototype traveling at seven thousand two hundred and fifty nine meters a second. Uh, what? <laughs> Remnant of your rocket there, space bar. Um. I guess so. <laughs> what? Unless that was one heck of a gravity assist off of something. There's still a lot of trash out there, but yeah. No, Q Monster Games, this is not water. This is ice. Hmm. Actually, maybe I don't need those on the front of the shuttle. Maybe I need something different. Yeah, Space right. bar. Mm -hmm. You've you got a uh, Verde cannon I can load up in the uh, nose cone there? Lord. <laughs> what we'll do is replace the fuel tank with a Lotus. There you oh, go. Yeah. That'll work. Guided Lotus. The dodgiest wheel placement ever. What the fuck is that, Farrell? Jesus Christ. Hmm? Yeah, that's the best we could do, unfortunately. I didn't want to separate the uh, fuel tank and the orbiter any further because then nothing at all jank about that. No, no, not not at all. But you remember what happened to the uh, last car we tried to launch into space and how it kind of got wonky because of the distance between the tank and the orbiter body. Oh, embrace yeah. the jank. Why are there still three camp guns? Hmm. There's still three. I thought I... Did I not get all of them, or...? I got them. Critical. Oh, hang on. Uh, game is dropping some more debris on us over here on the runway. Oh, to 1.0 now. Something's going right. Yeah, that's why Keen's dropping stuff on us. Ow! Get parachute. <laughs> They're dropping in a drone. A little uh, special delivery. You might even get a badger drill out of it. Maybe it's aliens. All right, gentlemen, we ready to go? Yeah, just loading up some scripts and stuff on the uh, LCDs down here, just so there's something to look at. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure, Farrell, if you had a purpose for all these small cargo containers, but I'm putting oxygen bottles in them just in case. Go for it. They are there for mission cargo. It also means they're not actually hooked into the grid for anything, but. And one of these needs to have snacks in it. Mm, let's see. You're not allowed to snack. Mm. You gotta do a couple of missions with like take snacks with you. you. You're stuck with the normal grub. Uh, here we go. Display item Infinity Stone. <laughs> what? Uh, is, what is that from? Is that in there? Yeah, in the um, spawn menu. Okay, yeah, okay, we'll take the infinity stones with us, sounds good. <laughs> Why not? No. There's some, there's we're ten gonna, infinity stones there. We're gonna hide them on Mars. <laughs> and we'll never figure it out. <laughs> oh, there's not a window over here. No, oh, in fact, we can make John Wick's dog eat. Them. <laughs> 
safest place someone... possible. There's there's one design uh, critique I have. Yep. The uh, the passenger seats in the back don't have windows. Yeah, yeah. that's actually the they are. But, oh. <laughs> I mean, you've got the passenger seats behind look, the If you look over seats, your you back can... left shoulder or back right shoulder view, Spacebar, you can kind of glimpse out of the porthole in the door. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've got I can see some grass there, so. at the moment. Hmm. And out of that one, also some grass. Now, yeah, stop at the ones up top. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some water. But come on now, if you're going to give the Infinity Stone to anybody, it is wasted. I'll use them to make more wheels. <laughs> the most glorious set of wheels you have ever seen. I keep forgetting the wasted Kerbal's up on screen. He is awesome, but he probably shouldn't be there spoiling the view of this particular launch until, until I can get him animated. I have in my hands, which is always slightly dodgy, but I think I can trust this fella, a memory card with the models on, because for some reason he posted me a memory card. Normally, ladies and gentlemen, do not put anything like this into a computer that you have been sent or got from anywhere that isn't just completely blank and empty. But in this case, I feel like Mr. Feller is quite trustworthy. Won't stop me from putting it into an uninternet connected laptop, though. <laughs> while inspected on first, mind. But, hey. He might be trustworthy. That's not the same as being secure with his own system. Oh, I wonder if you can use... Because Adobe's got a character animator. Under what models that can import. Because it can tie into um, face, live facial tracking. Oh, God. Man, if I could get that Kerbal <laughs> live face tracked, that would be insane. I'm going to have to have a look into that. All right, we good for launch. Uh, just waiting for Spacebar to come back. All right, I'm going to jump out quickly and landing gear lock. Uh, not landing gear lock. Um, like parking gear, the thing we're sitting on. I'll check it is, at least. <laughs> Wait, you're afraid I'm, I'm going to... Uh... I, 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 I just want... I don't just want wondering... it to just, like, start rolling as you start doing the <laughs> countdown, man. That's all. Halfway no, across the thinking... lake by the time we launch. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, I absolutely want to make sure I do not forget to unlock the gear because otherwise it's going to be. It's going to be an interesting a big... It'd be one heck of a big rover to take to space. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I don't think we have a way to get safely down to do it when it sits up there, but we could get it up there possibly. Maybe about 9,000 meters, but. Right, I'm back. Okay. Uh, just if you want to monitor fuel levels, programming block six has got the uh, raw fuel readouts and the debug screen on it. It's the best I can get that script to do for me right now. Yeah, Andrew, that angled thrust is going to be very interesting, but at the same time, it's also 100% necessary. Like we saw from Critical. any previous launches we've done, the off the realistic thrust to balance thing is having some decent effects. Can I get the center of Oh Do we nail it? One of them is very close. The other one's not quite so close, but one of them is bang down the line in between the two. Yep, I can see it. I think we are pretty good for that. I wish I knew which one was which. The pink one, straight down the middle. The, the, the sort of slightly um, colour that I'm not going to be able to tell you what it is, because it could either yeah. be orange or green, uh, is not so much. Well, the big thing I kind of wish I could do would be to... I need to add sorters between the tanks, honestly, and try to have it drain from the top down if it's even possible, but... Asparagus. Yeah. Except this is be... Space Engineers style, so we'll call it broccoli staging. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't broccoli staging a thing, though? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. 
All right, we need we need uh, cauliflower staging. There we go. No, that was probably a thing mm -hmm. as well. They're all they're all the correct shaped vegetables. Uh, leek staging. There you go. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Are we ready to count this sucker down? Should I be in the passenger seat or should I be down below? Uh, you can be wherever you want to be. There's many seating options in this particular vehicle. Fuel. Well, I'm gonna step here because the view's nicer. Alrighty. Face are you ready? Fuel. I'm gonna look out the window and make, and make <laughs> Jeb faces. No one will be able to see them, but I'll be making them. Alright. Just imagine me grinning inanely and then occasionally looking worried. Okay, go to engines, get the... Uh oh. Suddenly vibrating. Um, Barrel. Oh. I, I suspect um. your staging is not entirely correct. Hmm. Actually, you know what I'm realizing? For everything that I've put on this vehicle, there's one thing we're missing. Tyros? Mm hmm. As it scrapes its way down the runway on its face. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have <laughs> back each. towards the VAB. Oh, I think That's I might reload. It also looks yeah, like yeah. either you need more counteracting thrust, or you need. Um, no, I I goofed the launch on that one. Okay, fair enough. They were on. I don't know if they were yeah. thrusting. But uh, the other problem is, yeah, definitely no gyros. So I got to add those. Roger. The only ones we had were the one the one gyro on spacebar as a drone. <laughs> Flawless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, we don't subscribe to the shack mentality. Those Ooh, weren't no. extra parts, because we don't have no extra parts. <laughs> Those were absolutely mission vital, mission critical, and they are now spread all over the runway. Also, Space Engineers has crashed. Mm, that would explain everything. <laughs> well, you know, I spent a whole week coming up with the script to try to give us the fuel levels for it, and, well, I wasn't I thinking to... about... Gyros. I need to see, you know, you get that um, pop up asking you to send the log. I need to see if I can go and edit the log before it's sent so it gets like custom additions in there. You know, <laughs> go down to the area, a bit at the bottom where it's actually listing the current error and be like, well, in, in, include a couple of extra lines. Well, we were trying to launch a rocket backwards and Farrell Dunn fucked it up, so it's probably not a bug. <laughs> I'm sure those go straight to the spam folder. Spam folder? That are... That's assuming they still pay for that email address. I think it's long gone. Probably. It's just a dead email. <laughs> bounce. If there was even oh, an mean, email to he... bounce back to. You mean like the uh, dead SSL certificate on the quote-unquote wiki page for space engineers? I d do they even maintain that, though? I no. think that was voluntary. I think I that's think a separate, official. but I think that's yeah. a third-party thing. Yeah. That's not been updated in years. Right, well, we're still on the ground. It looks like we're just before launch. So it's coming back up. Uh, and I'm going to stick the bureau back screen up and go for a quick fire break. One okay. minute, guys. While I frantically go around and place a lot of gyros. <laughs> on the upside, it did get off the ground. There's the game, let me back in. And the other thing that would also help that launch is if Mr. Farrell did not accidentally hit the trigger button for the SRBs to go off, while trying to adjust the engine power. Hmm, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Ah! 
Oh, I'm back. Okay, I'm just doing a quick screen, or not screenshot, reboot of SC on my end. All right. Yeah, I'll have to do the same because I can't, it won't load, there we go. I'm starting to think, while oh, I was away, maybe what we need to do with this design. <laughs> Ooh, uh, it's blowing down the runway. One moment. Do you mind? Actually, I was pretty much, uh, I got where I got with a lot of help from the folks in the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the, the Modder's, Modder's mess. Workshop. Mm-hmm. Is it Modder's Mess? Modder's Workshop? I can't remember. Yep, over on our house, so... It's the workshop now, but I still call it the mess. It was the mess before, workshop. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I, th I think that changed in one of our, like, we should probably rename these channels so that anyone new joining actually recognizes what the fuck it is we're talking about. Drive. <laughs> okay, now I think it's going to let me connect. Critical. Oh yeah, this is right before we launched. Yep. So yeah, I was thinking of, uh, Basically, you take this vehicle, take this sort of cockpit section. In fact, this one's a better example because it's it's um, symmetrical. You put a little little thing in my jobby here, like this. Put a little rotor on there, and you put a little lock on it, and then down here at the back, build yourself a little thing in my jobby. Not on your thing in my jobby. I'd have to redesign it slightly, but yeah. On your thing in my jobby. But another rotor. And then you connect that rotor to that rotor. Need to be repositioned. Uh, but with a pistol. Just off. Okay, that's just a so, properly out. Yeah. Connect them two rotors together, and in the middle of that, you have uh, a turned off piston. Like that, as part of the connection. The reason you got that turned off piston is to allow the whole joint to compress and extend when it needs to. And then you set these rotors with the torsion script to return the whole wheel matrix back to its like flat, stable level again. And then obviously you times that by four, one for each wheel. Oh, okay, I see which, okay. See where I'm coming from? Like you, you, you almost yeah. create like a piston suspension system that return mm. for the bottom out. This is yeah. honestly more thinking of it as a uh, sort of crawler type vessel for other purposes rather than for this. But Why is this moving? Wind. But the brakes are on, aren't they? Yeah, but have you seen the profile and the brakes are trying to stop? Mm -mm. <laughs> Plus, the wheel override brakes aren't that great. Because it's the scripted brakes rather than proper brakes. Mm. It's trying to wheel override to do it. Uh. Pushing against the wind like this is raising our heat level really quickly. <laughs> Not up here. Of course it is. Is this launch going to be called on account of weather? Right, I've been connecting rotors by pistons for a while now. The only difference is we've got more ways of controlling them. Yeah, it does look like we need landing gears on this. Well, we're going to end up having that on the main platform anyway in the end, aren't we? Because it'll have those pistons to lower down and mm -hmm. lift it up and separate it. So we're going to end up with locking it to the floor regardless. So we're kind of fine in that regard. It's just at the moment we've got these interesting side effects. That if I drive forwards against the wing... I see our temperature rocket up. 180, 190. <laughs> hmm. 
now my connected ship is taking control so much that I can't even drive. Alright, I'm out. Yeah, 190, 200, 210, 220, what? 230, <laughs> 240, 250, 260. Something in the distance is exploding. Who was that? Oh. I'm guessing it was a. Oh, it might have been the uh, unknown signal that came down by the runway. Yeah. Let's see what we get. Fuel critical. Leopard gloves. Oh boy. Oh, grass baseball. Okay, we good? Mm, yeah, you might want to chalk the other end of the wheels because the wind's shifting again. Ah, be right. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. main engines have been throttled up. They're ready to go when I turn them on. Gears are ready. <laughs> gears are ready. Maybe Miss Omad. The High Priest of the Church of Clang. Possibly. I don't know. I I would definitely think myself more as a uh, more as the sort of the Jedi equivalent. The High Priest of Clang. <laughs> that's your Sith. Your Jedi equivalent, you know, someone who, who's seeing the force from the other side, taming it, using it for good rather than evil. Oh, right, Jaros. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I had the connection problems getting in, I didn't think uh, about it. You might be able to squeeze those into the, the back where the uh, thrusters are. Just for the purposes of making sure that we can actually Oh my game. Oh, I I'm didn't not cutting holes under the thrusters, Paul. That's boring. I want to see it burn holes into the vehicle as it leaves. There we go. All right. Wait, I'm ready. You make sure that satellite is a. Uh... It's right now just can't. Oh yeah, just in case anyone forgets, there's rotor doors on the back of this that we should probably lock. By the way. Hmm. And. Yep. Uh... Also, there's a blimmin' satellite that rotors on it in the back of it as well, because, you know, mm -hmm. not even rotors, hinges. And space ball yeah. hinges at that. Terrifying. The question Those aren't is... My hinges. No, as in, you've used, you're the one that's built them. Oh, right. Even Do worse. I... Even mm. worse. Huh. Do I dare put the main engine rotor on Sharon Arch Tensor? I think I'm going to leave that physically connected and not just by the connector, the satellite, because I <laughs> I don't want that coming loose as we fly. Let me out. What, what's the worst that could happen? I don't answer that. I really like how the, the rotor doors were moving as you were bouncing into them there. <laughs> yeah, as a certain, I kind of got um, stuck. Confidence to it. Mm -hmm. It's alright, Spaceball's just pushing those out of the way with his body. Lol. It's one of those wonderful moments where you zoom out of the uh, the inside of it and suddenly notice that the entire of the launch site has just got like this sort of semi-circle of massive holes in the terrain around it. <laughs> don't be anywhere near the launch pad, boys. Like, don't camp out in the near area. <laughs> okay. Photographer, not going great. <laughs> Right, yeah, you don't have a lot of uh, all those SRBs that we keep dropping out of the sky on the base. Yeah, it doesn't really help out. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to take your seats, we are ready to depart. I'm ready. This time with gyros. And we're launching in five, four, three, two, 
One. I predict the same again. You're not off the. They're still you're carrying the vehicle. Carrying the vehicle. Hell, <coughs> you're. Good luck. <laughs> carrying the vehicle has got caught <laughs> on the launch platform. <laughs> uh, that's a bad time to let go of that. <laughs> oh, and the vehicle's coming with. <laughs> uh, another reload? Yes. Damn you, Keen. <laughs> I'm only laughing, Farrell, because this is the staging shit that I went through for a lot of these episodes where you just nope. go, go, yep. and then half of it wouldn't work. You're like, oh, yes, of course nope. I forgot that one bit. Oh, my God. And it's another one of those stupid things of, oh, when you put the gears on the hot bar, you set them to on, on off, off instead, instead of switch of lock. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I had all but like how many launches were because we got halfway mm. up and then stage three I had half the buttons that like that instead. On the other hand, again though, proof that we have more than enough thrust to get off the ground. We are solid in that regard. Yeah, I apologize that neither me nor Space Bob were particularly helpful during that. <laughs> I was busy busy watching and I think Space Bob was literally just laughing. <laughs> but, I, well, I mean, what else was I supposed to do? Yeah, I don't think anybody in chat got that, actually, as, as far as predictions were concerned. Take off with the vehicle and then crush <laughs> ourselves with it, I don't believe was, was one anyone did. No, but didn't I say something earlier that that would probably happen at some point? So I jinxed myself. They turned themselves into a missile, then made sure the launch pad came in behind them. <laughs> I finished pushing them in. Okay, let me get back in there. Oh, this is very, um, like funky, almost porn music, but can we find something a bit more appropriate? <laughs> just like, I'm just like, that. It's probably it's stuff that's slightly borderline. I, I, I shouldn't say that either, because it's like, typically it's funk tracks. And I'm a funk mm -hmm. bassist, like, I just can't help but think in the back of my mind that you know what people would think if they listen to you play this. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get it, Space Boy, they don't understand. <laughs> I'm gonna play this track here called The Space Mechanic. Okay. I mean, that just, never mind. It is actually a really cool track. It's just <laughs> ironic that it's this close. Okay, switch lock has been set properly now. Shall we go again? Let's and, do it. Uh, yeah. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Mm, fighting the gyros quite a bit here. Oh, but you can use arrow keys plus the mouse to get more power. Nope, oh, that doesn't help. Let's try to roll. Hmm. Well, that's working. It's kinda. It wouldn't get rolled over all the way. Picking mm. in the OMS. There we go. That's giving her a bit more. Your damps are on. Mm. You're, you're actually trying to fight back with your nose. Oh, okay. That didn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it was helping and, and hindering at once. Yeah. yeah. There's the SRBs. Let's blow those. At least the SRB stuff works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, we're not going anywhere, and I'm already throttled up to max power. Hmm. You're kind of maintaining. Yeah. Still, that's not bad. Let's see if I can nose her forward a little bit. You know, you don't want to do that. Fine, let's nose back. Hmm. Yep. We're just... Slowly losing speed. Drop the fuel tank and see. 
Might as well test that separation anyway. Like lean her over a bit first. Yeah, yeah. Okay, actually, I don't have that one on my hot bar. There should be a MFT bolt screw. I see. Want me to go? Yep, go for it. Uh, we're stuck in that bearing for the wheel. <laughs> of course. I don't think we are actually, because I've removed the wheel. We're stuck on the back. It's stuck down there. Um, on my end, well, of course. Kind of nothing. Yeah. Hang on, there we go. No, it's the front nose wheel. Yeah, is that front nose wheel stuck? Oh, I did. I thought I got rid of it. <laughs> oh shit! Now there's no. a piece of ice stuck to it. What I actually did was detach one of the uh, rotors. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, as far as landings go, it not exactly a traditional landing profile, but... Launch that um... one! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you detached the, uh, yeah, the probes. Yeah, I was trying yeah. to find the wheels to detach that front wheel, to ditch it. But I don't think you can, in reality. All right, one more time. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, so, so far out. the entire process is taking less than five minutes. So. Yeah. <laughs> I figure out something other than that front nose wheel. Mars, yes, we've, out yeah, we've arrived. Ooh, mm. Mars, isn't it exciting? We should probably get some sides. <laughs> Look how weirdly similar it is to Earth. We should probably colonize here soon. Exactly. That could have gone far worse. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous. So that, was the, that is probably the gentlest out of control vehicle I've ever controlled in Space Engineers. Space Engineers, got my mouse back. Oh, there it is. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna kicked out. What in the world? Uh, he reloaded and it was in mid flight. Ah. That makes sense. What's the goal tonight? Find out if we can make this rocket work? Like, I, I, I'm gonna pull back on KSE having too many goals or being too driven in one specific direction because I think it's been getting boring because it's too focused on specific things um, you know I, I think we're gonna well hanging in with the KSE sort of general theme is great but trying to go oh every time we've got to make it to the moon this time and then it ends up with 15 different launches that don't quite work out if that's the case we, there's more we can do All right, you're good. Getting back in now. Is there room to adjust that angle at the back anymore? Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely gimbal further up. You, you need to, to gimbal it further think. up. Yeah. Probably move it to 20 degrees. It's already at 15 right now. Yeah, so I didn't want to seal up the back too, too much. Oh, I mean, visually. It's not exactly it something correct. I want to try to adjust flight is all. I said, visually, we look good. It's, it's more um, mm -hmm. practically now. We're in stage two of the Kerbal Space Engineers design process. Built a cool looking design, now how much do we have to pair it back to actually make it work? <laughs> I think it would also be a good idea for me to find all the rotors on this, and also those hinges, and lock them. Solar hinge. Yeah, I've rotated up to 25 mm -hmm. degrees there. Did I name that wrong? Solar hing. Yeah, that's good. Point. That's right. All of those are locked. You're using just that one advanced rotor at the back, right, Farrell? Correct. Cool. Right, I'll leave that then for now. Everything else is now locked, so it shouldn't give us any problems. Okay, I'm gonna. 
let's do it this way. Let's do 25. Let's set the lower limit back to 20. Take that land launch, and then that way, if anyone goes in and reverses the advanced rider two, that'll get me a bit more angle on it. Have you got the gyros at this point? Good reminder, uh, Knight. Survey says, yep. Okay, it wasn't just Knight, it was also Paul and non fan. Thanks, guys. Uh, let's see. And the other thing would be the MFT bolts. You need to be out here. <laughs> That's external one, tank jettison. That's what it was. Once. Yeah, that, that's not quite right, though. Um, no successful Lunar Lander or uh, Working Rover currently planned on the basis that we have, as far as I'm aware, yes, eight minutes. Okay. So, unlikely to manage either of those. You want to go ahead and grab a save? Everything is stable here at this point. No Working Rovers involved either. Well, if they're, to be fair, there is a Working Rover. We drove it down the platform with a rocket attached to it. <laughs> And it even started to take off this place. Uh, right, yeah, lifting. it's also float. Mm, yes. Uh, lifting off Ooh, in... Front wheel, front wheel. Oh, yeah. Should we just remove the fairings around it, maybe? Or remove the wheel itself? I think, and then... I think this is going to have to be the wheel itself, because I suspect it was really hung up in the tank. Remove more likely. the wheel, but nothing else. Mm, yeah, because we're going to always, pop, can it always back pop it back on again, even if it's not built. I hope we've got a little scorchy patch in the, uh... Oh, not at the moment. Soon, Tim. Okay, let me very carefully... Yeah. Uh, gonna also, be... dampers might be a good idea to turn off now. Yep, they're off. Okay, that looks like the wheel. Hey. Down yeah, to I four won't. meters wind this time as well. A little bit more sensible. To add a, another block for adding the wheel back in. Find the wheel. Add all the wheels. Okay. Ready? Are you no objections? Everyone's in. Yep, ready. In engines, gears. SRBs. All right, let's see if we can. Massive clanging noises. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing too great there, but uh, we seem to be sinking. Yeah, she's fighting. Problem. Mm. There goes one of the boosters, so that's it. She's not going to go anywhere. I think we should get rid of the uh, satellite. Worth a shot. Get no. off the pad. The last vehicle we uh, tried to launch with a bunch of rotors connected into it. I mean, they weren't even connected into it. They were explosive bolted into it, whereas yours are connected, which is yeah. not a solid lock. Hmm. But even when it's locked, it's not locked. Hey, the tie-dye. Doesn't appear to be a lot of thrust from the SRVs. I think that that's... They only show the, um, oh, well, of course it's safe as we put in. They only show the particle effect when they get up to speed. Yeah, and we, we're not getting close to that. We can't give them more fuel, unfortunately, because they are, uh... Like, they're not fueled like that. It's a shoot once. They're proper solid rocket boosters. So, they are what they are. They're like big fireworks. <laughs> And I've already got the three main engines maxed out to full propulsion when I turn them on, so I'm not getting anything extra out of that either. We could try taking some of the ice out of it. Let me just see if we bring the vehicle weight down further with it, too. 
you know, like empty out the pop tank. I, I think we'll do what Autos, Autos suggests, which is a copy paste critical. of the grid. Mm. In fact, we'll launch it from the ground rather than from the vehicle. We've driven it over here. Let's just remove some variables. So when you get in, you want to grab it, Farrell. Because they're, mm -hmm. they're landing gear, you can cut them easily. Yep. As soon as I get in. I do wonder if we just need more boosters. Dear Keen, when I log in, I really do not need to have a zooming animation bring me all the way down to the planet where I'm at. That'd be really mm -hmm. nice. Just didn't do that. Kind of unnecessary. I don't think it's intentional. Mm. It doesn't happen consistently enough to be intentional. Yeah, if I can get out of the seat, that would help. I like Rocky. There we go. No, I, I think a bit more thrust is probably needed here. We need another scale of um, SRB, almost. Uh, but we can eliminate some other variables. Am I heating up still? Yeah, I was I was heating up quite dramatically there for a moment. I'll uh, chocked against this, just from wind resistance, apparently. Why isn't the main tank firing? Because it's exactly what you just described it as. A main tank. Not a thruster. Okay, nothing blew up. That's a good start. Cool, you got it on the ground. Mm-hmm. That's on the ground. Jar is Wheel. there. Wheels been removed. Gears are on the proper setting for that. Our two is set for MFT disposal. Engines are maxed out, ready to go. I have no idea why the chutes didn't open that one time either, but yeah. That's certainly interesting. The wind is so strong, I can't gr I can't drive that vehicle forwards, and it's currently stuck like that. I think something mm. kind of weird has been going on with the uh, that grid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, especially how I was driving that thing around earlier, the wind was not a problem. And my game crashed. Awesome. <laughs> Because of course it is. At least you're in the uh, uh, in the seat. I was trying to get out of the seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in before this has all been wind this whole time, and it's just got such a massive profile that. No, it's definitely windy out there at the moment. I was keeping some authority on the gyros, and it was working, kind of spiraled up for a little bit, and then just tipped over to one side. Uh, you already I'm tipped fine. right off the back, mate. Watching from an outside mm. perspective, like it, it, it immediately tipped over. Have, have you got the... Um... It was also, to that time around, it was making clanging noises, and it wasn't making on other launches. Mm. Yep, that too. All right, let's make sure that's still filled up. So yeah, as you can see, guys, this is the actual launch on the back of that. No thrusters. Just one big old tank of fuel, two solid rocket boosters, and then everything else was done by the uh, engines on the shuttle itself. They were some big old boosters, though. Yeah, that's the only other thing I could think of would be to try... I don't know. Maybe another set of boosters with it. I think I'd kind of unbalance the launch even worse. Uh, at the moment it's shuttle heavy, so if you were to put boosters mm. on the, the fuel tank side, it wouldn't. Uh, and I think the trick would probably be 
if you were to try and make it look still right, have them um, like slightly offset because they're probably only a one by one, like one by five cone of damage or whatever coming out the end of them. Mm -hmm. So have it a one block offset above so that it doesn't burn in. So the ones at the bottom are a bit wider than the ones above it. You want a space bar? Yep, I'm in. Yeah, guys, I, I, I do understand that the boosters need to be taller. What you've got to understand is these boosters are a single block. They're a specific mod that Clockwork made for this series, and they work like... The reason being is that they work like solid rocket boosters. You fire them, they go for X length of time, and then they're done. Um, Here we go. But, because of that... Yeah, still heavily shuttle lifting. Like yep. turning over okay. and... Ooh, yeah. Spicy. Hmm. This is... Going more up than previously. Yeah. Having to work for it, and I think... Oh, yep. God, that, that's the, is that the SRB's done? No. Nope. No, they're still going. Come on. Do your best uh, to hold that trajectory. I know it's hard. Yeah. Here we go. At least now we're going up enough get the heat warnings trick is i'm having to constantly roll hmm because gyro steering is in zero help here okay there's the boosters and we're still we're going up but we're starting to lose speed oh look at that snap roll she's doing Ridiculous. I'm giving her the lightest of touches on that gyro, and it's just not helping. Mm. Yeah, losing speed. We're getting. Ah, come on. Stop losing that way. The and noise. Someone hit the reverse on the advanced rotor. Yep. That'll tip it up to the 25 degree setting. Yeah, it's on it. Yeah, damn, that's really not helping. Try a roll. Something's cleaning out back there. Ditch the fuel tank. Yeah. Okay, uh, drop the, I think I can feel it now. Rotors actually need to go the other way around. But, we might be able to gyro control this now. We might be lighted off. This is the wonkiest launch ever. And you do not want to know just how fast I'm having to move my arm on the mouse pad right now. And we're going down still. That's not working. All right, let's see if you're we still can... connected on somehow. No, yeah, I haven't bolts. ditched the tank yet. We'll ditch the tank. Um, that's what I'm trying to angle around to do. All right. Yeah, I suspect our real problem is to do with that. Well, hang on, because I got the OMS online. Cutting main engines. We're coasting now. I, rev I changed your main engines to now be straight. Okay. It doesn't want to let me add the front wheel again. I've already added it. Ooh. As soon as you... Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, stop thrusting and let me lock yep. that. That's yep, probably definitely. not helping. Mm-hmm. And now try Better. I'm not like getting a lot of lift out of that. Hmm. Flying brick, definitely feeling that now. All right.
Yeah, she doesn't want to lift at all right now. I'm having to... There we go. The angle yeah, thrusters might want to push it in a loop, guys, but they'd be pushing it in a loop the opposite direction, the direction we want. Yeah, you're not going. You okay, shouldn't. Yeah. But you shouldn't be able to go to space on this. We should oh, be I... having flying problems and her behaving a bit like a lump. I just kicked on the uh, OMS pods. We're getting RP1 assist on this, and yeah, it's uh, still not gonna. I well, think we're out of ice now. Well, we're out of RP1 ice. Already? Holy crap. Yeah, we are. Yeah, that's not going to work for orbital maneuvering very well. Alright, well, let's see if we can do a... turn to launch. I suspect that is purely just weight, center of thrust problem. Mm -hmm. Those thrusters aren't big enough to counteract the, uh, or aren't powerful enough to counteract the SRB sufficiently, and it's too heavy on this side. Because the SRBs themselves and the tanks really don't contain very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, especially Tom if you're using. Up. That's another problem, especially if you're using RP1. RP1 doesn't weigh anything. Yeah, it burns so quickly that there's no point in even trying to use it. The only reason I was using RP1 was to keep the launch from actually using up all of the ice before we got into orbit. That way, if we get up to orbit, we still have something left to move on, but... There we go. That off to... This actually might be a good landing. We're coming in at a decent speed. Eh. I'm not going to try and push... turn it. No, I'm, I'm not going to push my like, trying for the for the uh, runway. But, I mean, we're already just about below the point where the wheels are going to be a problem. So let me try. Well, they show as incomplete for some reason. I think they might have ended up being damaged by the, the heat. Hmm. They all have wheels, wheels, even the front ones, so. We'll boost. There we go. RP1 is the fuel specifically used by the thrusters that are on the back of this thing. No. That's the, uh... What's running off of this, and I don't know how they're still running, is ice on the three main thrusters. The maneuvering system's got RP1. Uh, oh, right. Which is okay. kind of interesting that that You've still got ice on my screen at least hmm. 1.18k in the generator all right there goes the orange tank tower right yeah. nothing speed brakes miss that damn it clearing the nose breaks off Ooh, touchdown. and touchdown I'm glad I put the strength up on those. <laughs> well, we know one part of this thing is working, and that's the part that lands. Mm-hmm. Ish. Everything else has got a problem. Mm. But, and I but think looks the cool. problem that everybody, everything else has is this. <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> like, you take this off, I reckon that rocket would launch just fine. Actually, I can't even say the landing was good because she was sinking way too fast. Well, we don't I had have had... the... I think that's the deal, though. And didn't it launch parachutes to show it slow down when it hit the runway? Yeah, but... They, for some reason, are not working when I toggle them, and I know I put chutes in them. Hmm. Yeah, we well, can... Barrel, watch it. Bonk. Yeah, can't do much. She doesn't bounce like the other craft we have do. <laughs> I was I was more referring go. to the brakes. Oh well, that'll do. 
Hello, oh, guys. I mean, so not a massively successful episode, i got to be honest, but, I mean, partially successful. Hey, Contraptions Mart has were a... built. Mart Ooh. has a, a, a space center like we got, like we yeah, do. Yeah, it's weird, that. Yeah. And we've got a very top-notch uh, launch vehicle that may or may not have been causing <laughs> problems, but it looks cool doing what it's doing. I'd say, judging by what that did on launch, I don't think it was causing any problems, to be mm. honest. Right, what I propose is I line this up this way, and then I activate the wheel override on all the wheels, get out, and we drive off into the sunset to end. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. Programming block. You need to go off. Drive wheels. Propulsion override. Is freaking it out hard. Mm hmm. How? Mm. How is it this bad Our, without the programming? Are some of them reversed? No, it can't be, right? I don't know. Maybe they are. I don't know. Have a plan. It's fine. If I get going fast enough in this direction and then get out, I'll have at least some time. Yep, degree off to the right there. Okay. Fuel critical. Perfect. Hey guys. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. It's been fun, even if we didn't quite achieve our goals. Some ridiculous vehicles were built, and that in itself is always good fun. Looks like the space shuttle. I mean, the space shuttle looks amazing, even if yeah, even um, if it doesn't quite fire. pull it off yet. It's just saying fire. Hmm? We're on fire. Where? I don't see any fire. For me, we're on fire. No. We are massively on fire for me. Whoop! And oh. now it just went away. Not burning. Sorry. <laughs> Hang on, we are slowing down though. Uh, the tour of the lake needs must continue. <laughs> there's, there's been a, there's been a few funs tonight, and I'm certainly looking forward to messing around with this design a little bit further. I mean, as a mobile base platform, I think I've got I think I've got a new a new starting point. Don't forget, guys, you can go and check out Mr. Farrell by looking down in the description, finding his channel. You should. He makes more content than I do, so. Check him out. And also, we have to thank Mr. Spacebar for being an awesome man and doing all the modding for us. He's, well, not all the modding, but a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> You're so bad. I think the merry-go-round broke down again. Man, um, I swear I paid like <laughs> at least three tickets. Was that only like 30 seconds? What? God damn it. Oh, well, Jesus. I've had enough then. <laughs> Screw it. I'm out of here. Night, guys. Thanks for joining us.